Sandra. Hello. Wait. We're live. Yeah, I can't see it, mate. <laughs> I told you all I could see was your broken <laughs> over there. Telling you, it's. How's <laughs> it talk to? We can't see anything. I literally can't see anything at the moment, but hopefully you can see me. I'm here enjoying it isolately at home. Uh, Jammers is at home. What have you been enjoying today? Uh, listening to some Final Fantasy remixes and actually doing some Street Fighter work, practicing with different characters today. Um, cool. But all I can see is Logan Sama and no game screen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they open up the Twitch. I wonder what they can see on Twitch. Oh, please, Richard, at least let them. Oh, they can see us. Fine. Okay. It's so, fine. At, at home, it's fine. So it's good for you. I'm glad. Uh, what flavor is the ice lolly? It is a R. White's lemonade ice lolly. Uh, and on the subject of Final Fantasy music, over the last week or so, uh, I have been listening to uh, the Distant Worlds albums in my hands as well. Okay. Ooh, I need to turn that down. Um, they've been enjoyable. That's good. A bit of orchestrated uh, Nobu Uematsu music. Lovely. Um, mate, he's an OG forever and always. Love that guy. Hmm. But yeah, so uh, who have we got lined up today? I think you got managed to get six players, seven players for today. Yeah, we, 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 it's, we're, we're at six. Um, so we have got uh, two two players from France, and that is um, Mr. Crimson and Nassim Claw. Okay. Nassim Claw, I don't think we've had on the show before. Nope. Um, so that's cool. Um, we've got Roski and Ryan Hart, who are both doing really well at the moment in the online tournaments. Uh, and we also have Apollo Steed for the first time. And then Afi will join us a little bit later on um, after he finishes Breaking Fast, of course. Oh. Love to everybody uh, observing the month of Ramadan at the moment. So yep. love to all you guys. Mad um, respect yeah. for them. Mad respect. We've got lots of uh, stuff to talk about as well. We've got um, EVO Online has been announced. So it has indeed. We can speculate about what that's going to be like. <laughs> of course. And obviously, uh, I think this has definitely been the most unorthodox week in uh your tier list take on street fighter 5 because i have seen the characters they've literally been shuffled all over the place i'm like what is street fighter 5 anymore i mean there's a general consensus with the top three or the top four but after that okay. it's like even that you know like <laughs> that sacco tier list was certainly um yeah <laughs> interesting that definitely raised both eyebrows not one <laughs> It's like, Sako, who did you lose to last night? <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, they had uh, Poison at number three. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think she's top ten. Top three? No. Uh, I think there's too many weaknesses the character has. She's very strong. But if you look at a top five uh, in terms of, you know, V triggers, destructive ones, um, you know, General Oki that's good all over the place, using both V skills oh. for any matchups. It's like poison will just go lower and lower, but she's still a solid character. Hmm. But we can get onto that uh, after we have witnessed this first game between, I believe it was Nassim Claw and Brosky. Yeah. using Gil. has been having loads of fun using Gil recently. So that's cool. Yeah. I think he's in two minds about the character at the moment because uh, a lot of people, he's kind of gone down people's tier list. He's like, is he good or is he not? So, oh, nice trade combo. Gets a tick throw. Now that situation in the corner is actually pretty scary when he does light kick and it's plus three on block. Because you've got to get through yep. the medium or a grab, so. I think he's gonna go for the side swap. And there's a back throw there from Broski. Wake up buttons and he's gonna make himself safe. Well the thing is mid-screen in that situation, when he gets Oki into a standing light kick, um, he's plus three. Which means you can't challenge and it's a real mix up with the throw, but at least mid-screen you can backdash, right? Because he's yeah. plus three. And he's most likely going to press a six frame. So your backdash will get air reset if he goes for a, a six frame medium. Yeah. But in the corner, you have to hold that. Yeah, uh, so, him uh, and Seth have got that same issue. Yeah, literally exactly, with them. Exactly, exactly. But if they put you in the corner, then yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's certainly not a nice situation to be in. All right, dash up twice into the crouch and fierce. Trying to catch both of his buttons, but here it's a parry into future go one. He's going to go for the 50 50. Go behind. Stay in front! I got hit! <laughs> He's not stunned. Oh, look at that! 
Damn, oh, he and woke up with buttons. He doesn't matter. Thanks for playing. <laughs> Thanks for playing. So you know the out. Make sure you're on point. <laughs> Otherwise, I'll wake up with a free frame, and that's what happens. And imagine that. Vega is in a position now where he can do that much damage off a three frame wake up. Yeah, nuts, man. Free Ve critical I arm, think Vega is a lot better. Like, he's got buffed every year, right? Every season, Vega's just been buffed a little bit more and a little bit more. He's got some nonsense this season as well. I think Vega's priming. Well, I mean, look, over the years, it's like he just didn't work for a while. He had one or two moves that were generally what we'd say busted. Obviously, season two flying Barcelona. But other than that, there were just things that just didn't His work. His feature of the one was crap as well. It, it, it was crap. terrible. And it was like the only thing you really saw was sweep. It, yeah, see, sweep into V-Trigger, which Nassim literally tried to do there. And again, I still think that's a waste mid screen. Yeah, Me personally, like so much off of it. There's no need. Yeah. I, see, right, look. Fishing with a standard medium punch, he could have cancelled that into the V-Trigger and got a big combo and Oki, but yeah. he's already wasted it. Alright, there it is. Step kick into full combo no, here. No, I think no, he's no. done. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. Oh no! I think he ran out of juggle points. Yeah. He literally ran out there. Into the light kick. First game for Broski. Mm. That combo there was interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that conversion off of a forward hard kick specifically. And honestly, if there's anyone I will trust with their optimal conversion with Gil, it is Broski. So it looked like the combo finished. So when he went for the uh, medium cryo lariat, that must have just been for frame advantage or to set up a decent mm. meaty. So. But yeah, going back to what Logan was saying before about Vega, um, unless you're in the corner fishing for the sweep to use the V-Trick one to get out, I really don't think you should use it mid-screen. Just go for a Buster Claw, stand medium, crouch medium, just look for a conversion and get proper damage. Oh my god, he's got Sky High Claw as well this season, which is the stupidest move. In the corner, in the corner. Sky High Claw is so dumb. <laughs> it's a returning move though. If he's got, if he's got V-Trigger and Sky High Claw, it's stupid, it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I mean, look, uh, this. I wouldn't say this version specifically, but we knew something was going to happen to this character over time because his pokes were always there, the neutral was there, there was no reward. And at this point, everyone needed yeah, a little. He just wasn't playing Street Fighter 5, was he? Yeah. So I can respect them for doing, you know what? You don't play SF5 enough. Let's put you in the game. And the developers have seen how this game has been played enough now to know, right, you need something a little bit silly. You know? Yeah, so he's got and he's got numerous EX moves he can throw out and not worry. Um, that V skill two is admittedly hard to space, but yes. if you do space it, you can throw it out with impunity because it's only minus four when it's spaced. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's only minus six. But you can space it out to minus four, and it's super far away, so there's no punish. Um, oh, he didn't block low. He's got tons of great pressure strings. He's got looping offense off of a command grab. Like, he's good now. I think. Like, not top tier. He's definitely yeah. not top tier, but, like, he's a character you have to respect a bit now. Yeah. Um, okay, and that scene went for crouching hard kick into V trigger again. I think he's exhausted that option way too much against Broski, and he's got nothing for it. So if Broski can kill him here, I think he's going to live. Or not, he's going to definitely regret it. All right, Barcelona, no parry. I don't know if he tried. No, he tried to jump. Okay. Ooh, he hesitated again. Oh, wasn't sure. Yeah. Ooh, nice uh -oh. catch. And he don't dash. Yeah, he can't dash after that. He's unsafe. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Oh, he dropped the jungle. Oh, no. That was unfortunate there for Broski. Couldn't get the confirm off the back. Hard kick anti here. And he's got another chance, but jump back medium. He's still got super. So Nassim got to be very careful. And he does again. Oh, did he? Do you know what? Saved it. He done crouch fizz. I'm not sure if he input CA. <laughs> if he input CA, that was done. Well, that was done. But I've seen, not I've seen that that CA lose in really weird situations oh, okay. and trade and do no damage and yeah, all kinds of stuff. So that CA as an anti-air for Gil is not reliable. Fair enough. I haven't really tested that or seen it, so. Oh. Gets the Matador flip. And again, just spacing it like Logan was saying before. Pretty difficult to deal with, but he gets the Azuna drop here, Nassim. 
And another activation into Primal Fire here for Broski. He's going to go for a, a hard knockdown setup. What's it going to be? Oh, damn. Good block. I don't know about the spending meter there, but Broski knows the setup. I don't. Okay, jumps back. And then there's the command grab. He's going to get some Oki okay after this. He's got V-Trigger to make anything safe. Or make a conversion. Whoa, the jab. Oh, man. Oh, there you go. That was sick. That was gas. Literally saw the cryokinesis come out. Immediate jump and cancel into the air V-Trigger one to punish the fireball. That's not something I see enough from Vega. I mean, that's got some really good utility, the V-Trigger one now. Just throwing it out there. So yeah, it's really good. The, the air, uh, the air V-Trigger one, even on block, has got really good advantage as well, right? So yeah, they change uh, it to it's, a, it's a good move that they'll use in the corner to get in. It's great speed um, as a as an anti-fireball move. Indeed, yeah. For sure. Wait, was that two one? Uh, I thought that was one one. Yeah, it is one one. Oh, mm. Broski. What are we doing? Character select. Yeah, Broski disappeared. Okay. Uh, cool. Invite Broski back. We'll finish that off. No, yeah. no, don't, don't do that. Don't ready up, please. Yeah, invite oh, Broski you. back. But yeah, one thing I've noticed about uh, Nassim's gameplay is I don't care how damaging your combo is. <laughs> I don't care how damaging your combo is. He's literally going to wake up with his button, his three frame, or some sort of option to get out of trouble. And if it can win in the game like it did in the first round or the first game, then uh, yeah, he'll continue to do so. Uh, he got kicked out of the lounge. That's what Broski's saying in the chat. Uh, so yeah, we'll try and get Broski back in. Send him the invite anyway. Even if it says it's on offline, send him the invite anyway. Uh, and Ryan's is um, prodigal underscore son for his CFN as well. <laughs> Right. Oh. So as we wait there, like we said, thank you for joining us tonight. Um, you can finally see our screen. Shouts to the VP team putting that together. Oh yeah, no, it's working again. It's just a, a minor glitch, so it's all good. I uh, got the t-shirts in as well, by the way. Hey, we got the t-shirts in. Is Problem X um, in the lounge? No, he's not. No, not tonight. He's been on the last two shows, right? So. Try and try and rotate it a little bit. Oh, what's happening now? Oh, infinite me. Yeah, hold on a Cheers. second. Cheers. <laughs> I'll come back. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm oh, not sure what happened there. There we go. He has returned. Sorry about that for disappearing. Literally something happened, and I'm not sure what it was. Someone okay. said my hair looks like Rude Van Nistelrooy. I don't. I'd take that as an insult. <laughs> I mean, I can see it, to be fair, I'm not... I can definitely see it. <laughs> well, I, I, I wouldn't know how to take it as a... I wouldn't take it as a compliment. <laughs> no, the kind of player... What have you, what have you been doing was. with your hair since you've been in, in um, isolation? Just putting it in two plaits or a ponytail. And then yeah. when I'm on streams, I have to put this on. So, that's it, really. Because I don't need to fully, like, do the cameras. Because mm. we're, not, we're not going anywhere. <laughs> 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 no, I, I'm, I'm literally not doing my hair to go to the supermarket, which is 10 minutes away from my house. We, so uh, I've going, I told you, we've, we've said this before, going to the supermarket is the new going out, mate. <laughs> There's nothing else to do. Uh, mate, I've just seen go people... Into, I just go Sainsbury's, get dressed up, mate. I've seen people completely decked out, standing in the queue, and I'm like, aren't you only just going to get bananas or maybe some water? It's like, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit weird, so... But hey... Got to listen to Logan and uh, say it's it's people's night out now. But they did ease the lockdown, but don't be fooled. Don't be fooled. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Hopefully everyone stays safe. That's all I really care about. Yeah. So. All right. So the players are back in. Lovely. Absolutely wonderful. And it is 1-1. One, one. Uh, just so you guys know. Round one. Fight. So let's see what's going to be changed up here. Still going to establish right. the fireball game here. Oh, gets clipped by Buster Claw. Check with the jab. Hit with the V-Skill 2 into the slide and the pressure being applied there. Nice. 
really good follow up there from uh, Broski. And I think what's really good about Gil for me is his ability to convert from almost any given situation, even scrambles as well. So. Yeah, cancels to make that safe. Oh, he's put himself back in the corner. Oh, the parry. Oh, he went for the big fierce. Oh! Gets Head to air gets scooped. I don't know. One thing I've noticed about Broski when he's on defense is I think he's one of the players that is very likely to try and tech. I know it's a situation where you could get grabbed for the game, but I think he flinches a lot more than other people. Oh, nice use to the sky high floor, though. Nice. And again! Yeah, and it's the regular is that version legit, well. Like, Is that a legit reaction to the cryokinesis? Um, I want to say it depends Cryo. on the projector. So. Interesting. And backs off again. And this is it. As long as that fireball's out, you can't really look for the pokes. Maybe Buster Claw will help, as he was doing early. So Buster Claw, you can generally punish early with a quick normal because it's got that lingering hurt box. Yeah. Uh, it's worth it's worth labbing that, actually. Just to see what you can punish it with. Different speed buttons, because it's got a hurt box that reels back slowly and lingers for a bit. Yeah. And there's a nice parry. Little parry. Retribution into the corner. Big damage here. Oh, first nice jump nice. out, but no. We get a follow up after you. And again, Broski tries to meet him in the air with the, me I think, medium, I guess. Yeah, it looks like out in. again. The reversal. And there's jump back jab. Lovely stuff there from Broski. And again, he's got critical art on deck. And there's the throw oh! into the game. Damn. That was rough. Vega wins. That looked pretty rough there, that round especially for Broski, but I don't know, it seemed like the tail of the tape for me was the uh, EX Flying Barcelona just dealing with it. He opted to go for Jump Medium Punch, which he got beaten out pretty much yeah. like 90% of the time, so. Yeah, not a reliable answer to that, because obviously he's got the parry, but that'll get grabbed if he tries to do that. Um, difficult. I'm not sure if he can use back hard kick or that get grabbed by the Azuna Giraffe. I don't know, back, back hard kick. Timing will be hard. weird as well, right? Because it's not mega, mega active and it's not fast either. So you'd have to make a hard read on the timing. Uh, who yeah. we got now? Apollo Steed stepping up. So we haven't had Apollo on here. Um, he's making his debut. So hey. welcome, Apollo. Up, Apollo Steed. El Steedos. Hmm. Right. Colleen is uh, who he's most well known for. Of course. Obviously been uh, dabbling with poison ever since she was released. He's got a pretty decent poison, but I remember he said uh, his Colleen's kind of dipped in form because he's been trying to learn poison. And she takes a lot of work. Over time, no extra pay. So he went back to Colleen for a little bit and he's trying to bring her back up to speed. Like I said, Apollo's always been a very solid player uh, throughout pretty much as long as I've been in the FGC. For SF4, Street Fighter 5. He's got some very interesting opinions. Uh, he makes a very good point, but sometimes I feel his voice isn't loud enough for his opinions to be heard. <laughs> but he lets his gameplay do the Round talking. One. Let's see it here how he does against Vega. This is the matchup right, I, haven't, go. I haven't seen this matchup in ages, to be completely honest with you. She's a surprisingly, like, rarely seen character. She's really, really good. Yeah. Damn. Ram, off to a very good start here on his debut on Wednesdays in here, Apollo Steed. Yeah, this character has been quite the talking point for quite some time now in the past year, but the general consensus is she is a top 10 character, and I wholeheartedly agree with that. Lovely V-Trigger, decent neutral game. Her biggest weakness is, for me, of course, dealing with uh, solid horizontal tools. I.E. projectiles. Okay, this matchup. Oh, oh, just out of range. I wonder, what, uh, I wonder if he tried to micro walk and do that there, but. And there it is, that obnoxious stand fierce. Let's see how often he uses it. We'll know if he's a real Colleen player and the ice dash gets checked. And yeah, Antia on the jump in. And he's going to lose the round because of it. That's what you get for not Antia, my friends. Final round. Yeah, good uh, good response there from uh, Nassim Claw. But again, how Nassim's been utilizing his meter so far in these sets has been really good. Been quite amazing. 
All right, gets the Grand Izuna drop into some Oki. How is Apollo C going to deal with it? And he tried to punish the landing frames there. But to no avail. No button. Apollo's looking to clip. Another command grab. Oh, okay. Trying to catch the delay tech. This is it. He's going to block it out here. Oh, when he gets the parry and he misses. The Frost Edge follow up in V Trigger 2. He's barely got any V Trigger 2 left to work with, but he gets the obnoxious button. I think he's stuck. No, he's not. Not quite. And there's a hard knockdown. Oh, not hard knockdown, sorry. The slide knockdown. All right, we're back, we're back, we're back. I was wondering where you went. I'm trying to sort out some of this audio stuff that's going on. But we'll oh. give it a go anyway. Oh, the can hit! Oh, and then the overhead! Oh, Close out. it off. Damn, Vega it must be so wins. weird getting counter hits with Vega off of certain buttons, because he got counter hit stand medium punch, and he could only go into another one. I'm like, damn. People could lose games because they couldn't get a proper conversion off of stuff like that, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, those guys... Those guys are used to that by now. <laughs> <laughs> They're used to it by now. Don't speak to don't 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 mention anything around Broski oh, yeah. about not being able to get conversions off buttons though, because he'll start telling you about EX special moves and lights and stuff. That's just punish on the V school too. So it wasn't a bad start there for Apollo, but I want to see what he's going to change up here. Maybe attempt to try and click more buttons, maybe more buffers in the neutral. Be more confident with the anti airs. Something's got to happen. All right, wall jumps out, and again he's doing the same thing that. Brosky was doing. He's opting for a jumping medium as well with his character. Right, with the pressure in the ground. Walk up. And again, he's out. I think he seems really content with just burning the V trigger to go back to neutral to have all that real estate to work with. I don't know. It's just, I know he can get a lot more for his V trigger. Oh boy. Looking good, he's got to deal with this. Station, stations. Takes the grab, that was brave, but he gets clipped anyway, and that is the round. Round two. Fight. Wake All up, right. lights. Right, nice, use the V skill to get out of the um, fast light mix up. I respect it though. If you like, had. Oh, there's the frost touch anti air. It's the hard knockdown. Yeah, if you've uh, tried to deal with Flying Barcelona like two or three times, it's not working out. If you've got a move that can let you escape easily and go back to neutral, I'd probably just suggest you that. that there again. you go. Great answer. But obviously that will lose to the grab. Depends on the timing, I think. There it is again. Apollo's got V-Trigger ready and activate. I think he should look for a stand medium punch or even a snipe kick. <laughs> is he going to burn the meter? No, he won't. Maybe you can get a meatless follow up after that, can't he? Uh, I think he was airborne, so the Parabellum might have whiffed, but it's irrelevant at this point because Nassim is oh, done, and we're going to go to a third game. Oh, man. Colleen wins. All right, not too bad. Getting warmed up because it is the first set for everyone tonight. So they're just getting warmed up, getting into it. Well, Online games, of course, as well, so it's not exactly the same experience as uh, offline competition for a lot of these guys, but. Um, yeah, we're just hanging out and having fun. It's not a tournament. If you haven't watched us before, I know we get lots of new viewers every week tuning in from anywhere around the world. But yeah, we're just hanging out and playing some lobby games in Battle Lounge uh, with some of our favorite players in the region, spreading it a little bit wider. If you've watched us over the years, you know we come live out of London. So the players that are local um, are the ones that we can generally feature. But, you know, because we're playing online, spread it a little bit further. So we've got players like Nassim Floor out of France. Mr. Crimson from France. We've had others as well. Chomi from Norway. Um, Fassa from Germany. Lots of players. Yep. So really enjoying that opportunity to showcase you know, a slightly wider variety of talent. All right, goes to the safe jump, which Nassim Claude did not respect. And he might be looking to get stunned. And there you have it. One bar. I think you might be able to close it out. Yeah, that's the round, surely. Arm bar. Air throw. Arm bar. The classic. Here from Apollo putting himself from match point when he was at a deficit earlier in this set. Definitely finding his own. 
And with the characters he has, he's got a very good uh, matchup spread between the two of them. Colleen and Poison is a very solid combination, if I do say so myself. Punishes him for that bad slide significantly. He's buffered just to get out, I think so. That dash up from Mar Grab. Vega Classic. I think Apollo tried to backdash there. Oh, that was sick. The dash out of the corner and then the slide. Nice. Damn, he's getting bamboozled by Activation. all the Oh, he could have got a massive punish on that. So he, he wasn't ready. He wasn't expecting it. Yeah, you <laughs> see the face there, look. That he's was so that too. He even tried to press a heavy button. Yeah. Just to get the range. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. If he gets this right, I think he's dead. Yeah, there you go. Apollo, <laughs> he takes it 2-1. EX Parabellum into the Silver Edge. We're going to close it out with the V-Trigger 2. Spear, optimal combos. We saw that life gate. We said, you are dead, son. That was nice. Amazing stuff there from Apollo. Winning debut from Apollo Steed. Lovely stuff. Obviously, we've seen him come down to some of the tournaments. Um, you know, his Colleen was he's one of the first players I really saw use Colleen from, from a launch, right? So... Yeah, season two. I think he was still he on. Beat, um, he beat Punk at Stunfest, right? Yeah, that was uh, 2018. So yeah, the year, season the year, three. The year, yeah, season right. three. Uh, <laughs> that's when nobody knew and no one cared. <laughs> it was like, because I think we were too busy watching the games on stream. And Apollo was just going around saying, oh, yeah, I beat Punk. And it's like, what? And it's like, yeah. but no one saw it. No one believed it. And then we had to go, well, look, Apollo's in. Winner's final of his pool against Storm Kubo. And he completely fluffed that. Yes, I'm looking at you, Apollo, because he's been beating himself up by that for quite some time, or he was. Say. So, hey. Oh, no, he's going up against Dalsim. Okay. Got Mr. Crimson. He's joined us tonight, as Logan was saying. We're just trying to mix it up a little bit. I uh, have, like, two or three returning faces, as well as two or three new faces, or ones that have branched around around Europe. All right. Just to mix I'm gonna, I'm going to try... Um... I'm going to try the mic without the NVIDIA on and see if that makes any difference. Uh, we are connected through Discord, so that's probably the reason why it isn't tremendously great. Um, the yeah. mic you have Technically, the mic's fine, yeah. but it's, it's a Discord call, so I think that's the issue. Jump in there from Apollo, and he activates, and he was not far, or not close enough to get a medium punch, so he went for something else instead. He might reset here. No, knock down. Yeah, it's not It's not closest to the mic. It's not, I need a new mic. It's none of that. Because when I stream from my house, it's be it's beautiful. <laughs> Can I activate Yoga Burner here? Can I try and escape? I think Apollo should try and close the gap. There you go. <laughs> you had the meter to do so, so he went for it. Oh, we tried to do tail storm. Sneaky. He's probably option selecting that crouch short jab into maybe a parabellum just in case Crimson tried to teleport away there. He won the round regardless. And obviously, uh, Delson's been put in some interesting places on people's tier lists as well. It seems that like he's no longer the worst character in the game, apparently. The gain isn't set too high either. It's the same as what we use every week. Oh, there's a crouch medium kick, and he teleported away just in case. Not bad shot there from Mr. Crimson. Working on that perfect, though, until myself might jinx it. There's another stand medium kick. Very careful with those buttons. I think Apollo should just go for an activation. Oh, don't listen to me. And he gets the ball. He might come back. Go for the reset. Stand medium kick activate. Which side is he on? He stayed. Why did oh, he back off? thought there'd be a throw take. It didn't come. Yeah. Damn, I think he tried too hard. Never mind. Crimson might jump up. Yeah, I knew it. Crimson might jump up. I knew it. Sorry. Nah, I was looking at the situation. I said, he's got great health. And if you try and grab him, he's going to jump and hit you with a button. Oh, man. Sorry, I've seen it. I've seen it too much. <laughs> I've seen it too much. All right. Apollo not looking happy with that round. Look at the... <laughs> Yeah, it's 1-1. <laughs> it's, uh, I believe it's 0-0. Um, I think this is the first game between them, yeah. Oh, the first game. Oh, Gale. Where's the stun? There it is. And that's going to be the first game there to Mr. Oh, Crimson. I lied. I lied. Ooh. That looked rough.
Dalton win. I'm pretty sure no one should ever take Japanese tier list seriously. That is true, because sometimes, in my personal opinion, where they play certain characters, I really feel they lost to one of them last night, or probably an hour before yeah, they made there's it. A, there's a huge amount of personal bias in Japanese tier lists, and regional bias as well. So if they have a character that's not being represented in the region, then they'll just put it low. Like, even if Very that character's doing work elsewhere, they'll still put it low. Um, a lot of Japanese tier lists are good for identifying what makes characters like cheap. Strong. Yeah. Beautiful. But they'll have some weird ideas, like, you know, Fudo is beating people with poison, so they'll put him third. They did it, they've done that to Fudo every season in Street Fighter 5. Yeah, they don't, I remember when they done that with Birdie. Yeah. I remember that with Birdie. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and there's another anti here with a heavy frost touch. He's going to play it safe with the safety he set up. No V reversal here from Mr. Crimson. He's going to need that burn, man. He might be dead. He might be dead. I keep forgetting, in season three, he would have been dead. Because if, they, <laughs> the, if the crush counter scaling was yeah, not there, then he definitely would have been dead. <laughs> right, there it is. Right, gonna go for the setup. A good block there from Apollo. Not going to bite with the tech there. Tech that time. And again. Oh God, he's eating everything. This is crazy. That is you crazy. Know what Broski said before the set started. Picking right. Sim against Colleen was great. You reckon? Well, to be fair, I'll take Broski's word for it. Because right now, Apollo's actually had some really solid answers to some of the stuff Mr. Griggs has been doing. You know, anti-air counter for the drill kick. You know, high damage output if you're pressing buttons in the wrong area. All right, let's see what it is. I think he's just going to let the yoga fire. Yep, just travel across the screen and dissipate. Go back to neutral. There's a low. Looking for that animation. That mix up is so straightforward for Dalton, but it gets everybody. And this is it. If he cannot deter Colleen from doing the ice dash to close the gap, there it is. He could be in a lot of trouble. He jumped! Oh. Hang on. And I can it! He ran out of V trigger. Yeah, he ran out. Maybe if he had a little bit left. That might have been the game. Good tech. Good tech. One more hit is all he needs. Now the tech, Mr. Crimson! Damn, these are, these are brave, boy. But his life's on the line, so. Yeah, and Steed has to take all of his brain life. That wow! Ooh. <laughs> Do you know what? Win. I know I know it's the thing of, when you barely got any health, the throw is, must be taken into consideration. It's not the top priority, but you've always got to consider it. But when I see you tech twice, I'm like, dude. <laughs> it's like, you really don't care. Well, it's Crimson or Jump. Um, yeah, that was that was all from that V-Trigger activation and the, the Grey Life that he took from the fire damage. Because mm -hmm. the screen was locked off. He couldn't um, couldn't escape. He had to take that Grey Life. And he, he went from having a life lead to having literally nothing left. Um, so it's a really good activation there by Crimson. Really yeah, I think uh, sometimes I do feel uh, maybe it's better uh, shown off in certain matchups with Dalsam than others, but that Yoga Burner does wonders, especially mm. when you got a specialist like Mr. Crimson, Broski, you know, even YHC Mochi. It's like just watching those guys use it. And it's like, dude, that's supposed to just take a gray life. It's not supposed to make you come back or win a game. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, but uh, yeah, as we were saying before about these tier lists, obviously take it with a grain of salt. Um, as Logan was saying, it is quite a bit of personal bias. And I, I just wish that certain tier lists were... They'd categorize them a little better. So it's like, right, are we basing them off of fundamentals? Are we putting more emphasis <laughs> well, on their V-Trigger comebacks? You know, well, stuff we've got like Ryan that. Hart stepping up. I think the cool thing about these tier lists, the fun thing about it is there's never enough data to say anything definitive, right? There's mm -hmm. never enough because the player base isn't high enough for there to be world-class players representing with all these characters. Um, so a lot of it's opinion based, and that's where the fun comes, where people can, you know, debate and have their own values. Like, you know, one person will go on about, oh, what about the results, and another person will be like, oh, but the tool set and yeah. oh, but the matchup chart. And, you know, 
all kinds of different stuff. So. All right, Ryan is going in right now. So, I mean, for the past couple of times Ryan's been on, he's had to encounter Dalsim. I think the last time he's on was the only time he didn't have to. But it seems he's done a little bit of work on the Dalsim yep. matchup, taking a more aggressive approach, which I like. Yeah. I mean, I remember watching him, I think, the first time against... I think it was Broski. Yeah, I think it was Broski. Uh, and he just had big, massive problems traversing neutral. And then I think he kind of embraced a bit more of Yuri and SF5 style, which is... I'll just get in by any means necessary. He's just yeah. a big gorilla. Uh, just avoid, he avoids, he bypasses neutral. He's got bar, yeah. he's bypassing neutral. Oh, easily. And that's literally what I was about to um, allude to, what you were saying there about meter. It looks like Ryan's just gone to preserve meter, not for CA. It's just to help get in yeah. and kind of keep the pressure up. Okay, he get... <laughs> oh, the safe jump. No stun. Whoa. But he gets the stun of the single hit anyway, which I guess worked out in his favor. That combo is very finicky to do. So it's like, I, props to Crimson for going for that. Because even that, slight miscalculation in spacing, that could lose you a game. But props to going for it, though. All right, there's the Yoga Fire on screen. He's going to use it for pressure. Good interruption there from Ryan. Didn't believe that would give him enough frame advantage. Uh, Mr. Crimson so there. So if Urian um, blocks a medium kick, and he's got bar. He can he can ex chariot, and there's not really anything that Sim can press. Now nah, he has to hold it. Like he actually has to hold it. But you know, then you're just using your ex bar and getting in your mind. A little bit different. Oh, and again, the instant jump back. Thought the throw was coming. Yeah. No, I I, I totally agree with what you're saying there. Um, I feel with some of these moves that allow you to bypass neutral. It's a very interesting take because it's like we'll let you in, but you're not going to be at the advantage. And I feel, despite Dalsim not having a, a potent mix-up of minus two, right? It's not, there's no command grab threat. So it's like, nah, you're in, but waste of a bar. And it's like, I don't want to have to block you again after trying to work so hard to get yeah, in. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I'd rather just leave it. Just play from full screen. But... All right. So let's see how Ryan tries to attempt this uh, next match here. He actually had a very good start in the first game. Um, yeah, he did. Ran out of energy. I feel like one of Crimson's biggest strengths, though, is his defense against, like, rabid opponents. Yeah. Like, he's always been good in the scramble on defense. All right, there's the V-Trick two tackle. Straight to the mid-screen, and he went for another one. We're in the corner. You might have to guess for the game. No, you don't. Oh, you do. He's the reaction to the V-reversal. Ooh. And there's the shimmy and Reinhardt with three V trigger uses takes the round. And that's the strength of this V trigger. It's it's super overlooked because just Aegis is without a doubt one of the best V triggers in the game. Easy. Yeah. But that V trigger Flex. 2 is still very good. Like corner to I mean, corner combos. But that's a big deal in the game now, you know? Big deal in the game. Cool. I think we punished there on the coral kick. Good tech there from Ryan. I thought he would have gone for a jab there, maybe, but... Metallic Severe just knocking Crimson out of the sky. Activation. Into the throw. I think he can... Yeah, he's not going to get hit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I mean, Yoga Sunburst isn't amazing. <laughs> oh, that's a little bit too early. Please don't. Yeah, just block it out. And the tech as well. That was brave. A tech super brave. <laughs> would have killed. Uh, yeah, that, that, that was brave. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I hope Ryan's clocked on because. Oh! Do you know that was really unfortunate. How much you want to bet he tried to do dash up super? <laughs> no, Ryan, he always wants to try a, a, a new way to land his critical art. So, uh, um, I saw Ryan do counter hit crouch and medium kick link super the other week. Doing, uh, so, yeah, he's on, he's on stuff. <laughs> the Gale again. My only fear is Ryan's like too cerebral to play Yuri in effect. I, I can see that. There might be a confliction in his playstyle as a player and what Yuri's supposed to do. But I, I think he's actually been putting into work. He might be dead. Is it gonna... Yeah, there you go. Ooh. Remember, he's got, uh, Dust has got 925 vitality and that was a huge damaging combo. Well done. Coming back, making it one apiece here, Reinhardt.
with that Urian. Um, but yeah, going off uh, again what Logan was saying before, Urian, one of the few characters with the luxury of having two brilliant V-Triggers, but one outshines, completely outshines the other because of its utility. You know, the mileage you can get from it creates more possibilities in terms of mix-ups and offense for the character. V -trigger uh, a couple of people in the stream chat asking why he's using it. Um, because of the armor. Um, yes. Having access to the armor. That's the same reason he's using V-Skill 1 as well. Because if you V-Skill up, then you have access to one hit of armor. Uh, V-Trigger 2, you've got... Is it two hits or two hits? Uh, I believe it's... I think it's two. I want to say it's two. Obviously, so V-Skill 1... armor options to get, you know, through neutral, uh, then safe as well. Obviously, I know uh, Fasa does it quite a bit. He'll like activate he V-Trigger 2, then use V-Skill 1, and he'll have like a ton of hits of durability. Yeah. I was just saying it's equally as good as Aegis in the matchup. Okay. I mean, Aegis is always good, right? There's yeah, no point of Aegis is not good. Uh, and of course, if you can make, you know, your Aegis mix up meaty, then... Um, Sim hasn't got answers for everything. He hasn't got real reversals, right? He's got nah. teleport, and he can either... Uh, hit Invincible or throw Invincible. Yep. Alright. Goes back to the neutral there. EX Chariot to bypass that neutral. Get that knockdown here. And he's got Mr. Crimson Cage in the corner. He's going to try and fire his way out. And there's the headbutt. He's got a sizable life lead here. Ryan Hart. Hopefully he doesn't squander it. Oh. Going to activate. Burn Oh, no! That's going to be big! Ryan! Oh! Oh, and another <laughs> oh my god, he stole it! Oh, wow. He robbed him! Damn. Never oh, count out Ryan, huh? He will throw everything in the kitchen sink to make sure he can make a game go to the final round. And that's exactly where we are, ladies and gents. Let's see if Mr. Crimson can keep his composure. Another tech. I wonder what Ryan's scheming. What button is he waiting for to try and close the gap? He's got one bar. Violet need drop. All the space on that. I think Mr. Crimson, he might go for a little more throws. Yeah. Starting to see it. Yeah, he doesn't want anything to do with that V-Trigger right now. Just make sure he stays away. Oh. No real threat here for Mr. Crimson because V-Trigger 2's gone, but... He's trapped in the corner. Yeah. All right. Dolphin That's gonna close it out win. there for Mr. Crimson off of the medium kick, the jumping medium kick, safe jump. But yeah. Um, you know what? Kudos to Ryan because it looks like Ryan's on definitely put in a little bit of work, uh, and he's probably gotten much more comfortable with the V Trigger Two V Skill One combination. Because again, against Zoners, uh, Dalsum's the greatest example. Because I remember watching uh, AD Terminal and Broski play this matchup uh, a couple of seasons back. And I was like, why are you using that? For that uh, V Skill 1 and V Trigger 2? He's like, because I can punch through normals and get in. It's just an easy way in. And obviously, it's becoming the norm now for that matchup. They just go, right, I'm just armoring up to make sure you're uncomfortable in the neutral. So. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a valid strategy. Uh, of course, you get access to your V Trigger faster as well. So it's, only a, it's only a two bar V Trigger. Yeah, uh, we are going to be joined by Affy shortly, I believe. Um, take us up to six players in the lobby, but at the moment um, we're stepping back in uh, with Broski. Is it going to be Gil or is it going to be the mirror match? What did they do last time? Did they do the mirror? They had a mirror. Time? Yeah. Okay. I can I can see that happening again, unless uh, Broski's found some Gil tech against Dalsim specifically. <laughs> uh, bless you. It will be it will be interesting to see. Um but yeah, I'm very curious, as you were saying before, uh, Evo made their announcement. I'm very curious to see what these uh, exhibitions are gonna be for some of the games. Okay, he's gone with Gil. And I left my Windows noise on. <laughs> Let me see if I'm gonna turn that off real quick. <laughs> Alright. Let's see here. So yeah, Dalson versus I don't know if Dawson can keep up with the fireball game, but you can definitely get round it. I probably won't be deterred by it too bad, but... Yeah, I'm just going to watch this one and take it in, because it's Round not one, one I've seen a lot of. Obviously, the threat of the parry is a big deal. I don't think you'll see the parry used, like, 
mid-screen too much. Like, there's no real risk, because the only you'll take is about, what, 100 damage for trying to parry a, a limb for full screen? Well, <laughs> you might see that, though. <coughs> and that's not a safe lariat, either. So. Alright. He is in the room. Welcome, Afi. Oh, is, is Afi in the lobby now? Yeah, I just saw the uh, notification okay. on the screen come on. Cool. Taking a lot of grey life here. Yeah, that jump in just did about 150. Yeah. As an anti air. Oh, the punish! That wasn't even a punish. Counter hit normally, so. He just got hit. Oh, Closes out the round regardless. And that's all that counts for Mr. Crimson. That's all that matters. Most has been having a, a world of a time with uh, with Gil. I know he really enjoys him a lot. So. Yeah, for that's sure. Really all right. Oh, he's, he's just yeah, this is just great damage. Chip, Dean patient, waiting to activate Primal Fire. Good break again from Mr. Crimson. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie to you, he's actually been probably 90% success rate on Protex today. <laughs> Shimmy him yet. Damn. Ooh, tries to connect the Larry afterwards, but no. Well, I mean, my guy submerged to close the gap, but you actually might submerge to your demise, good sir, if you are not careful. He's going to try and wait for this Grey Health to recover as much as possible. As long as Dalsim has extended limbs. Yeah, that's going to be hard. Catches uh, Broski unawares after sliding underneath that um, Cryo Ball. And then clips and counting here. Follows it up with another combo and closes out the game. Yeah, that looked like such a dire situation to have like what? Two thirds of your remaining health via grey damage being done there, and it's like yeah. your options are severely limited. You literally yeah, don't risk anything. Uh, Crimson, the same as the other game, he did a really good job right. shutting the screen off. There was nowhere to go. Activate that V trigger, and then hit the back of the screen, and you're stuck there. You've got, you've got to hold that grey line. Of course. And, uh, Broski, you saw him jumping in, he took about 115. For a, for a, a single normal anti for that grey line. It, it all adds up. Mm -hmm. The epitome of screen really control. Good on defense as well, right? He hasn't really taken a huge amount of damage and mixed up. Green from text is good as well. Yeah, I mean, like, you obviously you want to try and keep it to neutral as much as possible so you don't put yourself in these dangerous situations. But when his defense has been questioned, he's actually been on point, as Logan said. Ooh. As I said it there, that could have been very perilous for him. Pyrokinesis, it's the flame javelin. Oh no! Wow! Okay! Damn. What a conversion! That was that from far. Round yeah! Round that was from far. Oh, is that max distance jumping hard punch? But see the retribution effect allowed the coral, uh, coral kick to connect. Oh! Uh, kudos for no effort there for the attempt on the parry. Into that lariat there from Broski, but... Find yourself trapped in the corner. Beautiful space. Take all of this. Beautiful. Oh, punish from the X though. He can get a bigger punish on that with crouching fists, um, but people still need to get used to it because it is minus double digits. So. Oh, okay. It's minus twelve or something like that. Yeah, it's, a, it's an armored move, right? They're normally eleven plus. It's because usually what happens is people will punish the regular version with light attacks when that's minus six, and they'll punish the EX version with medium, so they can punish it with heavy, so people are still getting used to it. So. And another parry. Oh, normal Lariat's so janky to punish as well, right? Yeah. Oh. No. Randomly it isn't. Let's go weird. Oh, yeah. Ooh, a hard read on the parry. But to do it once in a while. Jumps back, lovely answer there from Broski. He knows his character. This is a good test for him as well to know how he can deal with Dalton. One of the best Dalton's on the planet. He's got critical art here, so Mr. Crimson, he let that V trigger dissipate. He's got his own V trigger one to activate. But how is he going to do it? That's the real question. Oh, and see, yeah. Let him cook a little bit. 
Oh, he's dead! He's dead! Yeah. Whoa, oh, you didn't have to do the whole thing! Oh, mate. You made that hard for yourself, didn't you? <laughs> I mean, all you had to do was crouching fierce into, you know... Laria uh, into CA, yeah. that would have been it, the easiest combo ever. <laughs> Even I could have not dropped that, but yeah. Oh, man. It's good to get in the habit of doing the max things anyway. Um, but yeah. I don't know, I think the, uh, sorry, I think the Coral Kick into the Lariat for the extra damage, that's very, Round like, height-specific. Mm. Like you said, I respect him for going for it, but I think he was too low to get it. And, um, yeah, thankfully he didn't, uh, I think, cost him the game. No, he didn't work out. Just punch for him. Alright, he's gonna activate Prim Primal Fire from full screen. Just to kind of give him a little bit of breathing room, reduce that stun. Oh boy. The jump ins have not worked. He's too far. He's been too far for them. Well, obviously, the one that worked with Retribution to win in the round, but other than that, I don't think they really worked. So. Respect the attempt. I like the react to the drill, yeah. I like, I like, the, uh, I like the effort. I like the attempt. Clearing the sound did not come out in practice, but. But for me, it's not fast enough. It's not like a Round five frame two. EX Peach like Mika, yeah, right? Fine. So it's just not fast enough. But obviously, you want it for the armor properties. I think it is. What's the star? Find uh, uh, like, is that right? Twenty-two frames of star. Damn. Well, I mean, it's I don't know. Am I reading that right? Where's skill. Again, the gale pressure. Yeah, it seems that it's uh, no. Do you know what? I probably looked it wrong. Twelve frame start. I think it can be up to twenty. I probably looked at the numbers. What was it? I think it's twelve frame start. Well, it wasn't fast enough uh, to keep Roski from getting eliminated. Mr. Crimson pushes it up to three wins now in the lobby. All right. <clears throat> Working on that win streak there. Mr. Crimson, I see you. Le Crimson. Still representing that Dawson really well. Yeah, we've got uh, some interesting matchups potentially um, tonight. Affy's in there with Jeeb and Laura. Uh, <laughs> Ryan's Ryan's got a slew of characters, but mainly Urian. Um, also got Colleen in here. So we've got some good sort of round roundabout matches. Uh, a nice wheel of matchups tonight. Yeah. Um, hopefully I get to see some of so I think it'll poison. be quite difficult for anyone to really go on a long tear this evening. I don't think we're going to see a 10, 10 win streak. I'll be surprised if we see more than a couple of fives, to be honest. Mm. We'll see. I mean, Difficult. Mr. Crimson's getting close. He's got mm. the three. <laughs> He's got the three. He's done it. He's more than halfway. Now, who is up next? Oh. I mean, once in a while, you're going to have to use the president. If you can't beat him, you join him. Join <laughs> the election campaign. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, Mr. Crimson has been actually working on a little bit of a G. And uh, he's bringing it out here. Probably it's better to deal with it online than it is offline. So, Right. I'll fight this round one. Fight. So I want to see how it's coming along because it's actually been a little while since I've seen it. But I want to see how it's coming along. Right, ooh, okay. So he, he's already got the buffers down, which is. Yeah, he knows, he knows how to play G with back fierce and. Uh, <laughs> offer a light kick. All right, if, there you go, Brandon. If, if he does think he can block and then buffers like this as well, then, then we'll know. Then we'll know, yeah, of course. All right, he's going to just burn the V-Gage right now. Maximum president. Good job, but he's out. All right. Ooh, cool. You know what? That's definitely something between the two of them. Because I don't think you'd normally see that being done. So I think that's something that's an interaction between the yeah. two. Alright, there's the buffer again into the G barrier. 
Close out the bumper. Again, he's looking for those buffers, the mediums, the lights, everything. But Nassim Claw is letting all these buttons go. Trying to get the right whip punish with Crouch Fierce, which he did earlier. No anti air there from Crimson. You need to be seeing that crouching Fierce pretty much all the time on regular jumps. Get another buffer. I love it. If he doesn't get the crouch medium punch buffer, he's going for the stand light kick one. You can literally see it in his button sequence. We deal with the pressure. Oh no! That was nasty. I definitely got hit. And he's a tall character as well, so it, like. I mean, you can probably B skill that right, but you have to be so on point. I mean, like, he's still learning. Um, like Logan's saying, there's, there's little, like, you know, little tendencies we can see when someone's been trying out a new character. If you do things that normally should be done, so you, like, forward hard punch, max Round distance, one. stand light kick buffer, spin kick into Fight. light kick buffer, then we know you've been working on the G. I definitely feel if you recently picked him up or just began to, you're probably going to try and command grab a lot more. <laughs> you just want to land it to feel good. Gets the confer. Big up buttons again from Nasty and Blue. Crash Fierce Antia. Lovely. I mean, that did get slightly toned down, but I still think it's one of the better anti -airs, One of the best anti oh, in the game. Oh, it's super reliable. It's just, it doesn't take the back of his head as much as it used to. Yeah. anti was ridiculous. I'd see people, I'd see people, anti jump out of the corner and you put them back in the corner. Yeah. Up, come on, grab. Still well, alive! Great mix up after the dash, yeah. There you go. God bless looping Oki off of come on, bro. So Never that's a uh, that's a plus two after the dash, right? So yeah. like even it's then real. that was more it's legit because he's got a uh, four frame. So the command grab is going to beat a button if anything. Anyway, so. yeah. It's legit on everybody. The, yeah. the command grab is five frame. Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> Jumping hard kick, just raw and in the corner. Alright, there's a barrier. As Logan said, he could have tried it, but you have to be on point. I think he's a little too quick for his own good, so he's gonna lose that game. Jeez Louise, that was quick. Vega wins. That was swift. My friend. We didn't even We didn't even hear Guy Impact. We didn't even get to Feel the, you know, you're gonna act like you don't, you're not gonna get command grabs, but you know that. Was oh, come on! The command grabs are all six. They're all six. So yeah, they're all six frames. Okay, I was, I was mistaken. Damn, yeah, if you got three frames, you can mash that button if you see a dash, but then you can yeah. do dash up short. So. Mm. I mean, it's a mix up. It's a legitimate one. He's got. It's definitely bar. a real mix up on G. He does only have a four frame, as you said. So, yeah. All right. So I didn't actually see who's up next. Is it Afi that's going to go on next? Mm, Can we get that yeah, from the stream too? Yet. Or was it Ryan? It will be a surprise for us all. We'll find <laughs> out. <laughs> oh, man. People do forget. I know Nassim Claw has been uh, showcasing his Vega play tonight, but he's actually got quite the array of characters himself. You know, he's tried Colleen, Blanca. Yeah. He's dabbling with Seth at one point. I actually saw him use Lucia. I think he's picked up Sakura recently. Okay. Everyone's highly rating Sakura now. Uh, not sure why, but <laughs> yeah, Ryan was using Sakura for a couple of weeks. Um, also, so yeah, uh, I, she's fun, man. Like for he... people that for people that want to play Shoto's and be a little bit more offensive and a little bit technical, she, she's fun. Yeah, man. Okay, so oh, it was Apollo. Apollo. <laughs> lovely, lovely. It's good. We're gonna see. Yeah, we're gonna see the run back between these two. Right, let's see if they, the outcome will will it be the same or will it be different this time round? But again, what's good about this? So obviously we're doing first to two because we're not offline. There's Round no reason. One. It's like and because these guys know their characters so well and these matchups to a decent degree. Some matchups can go extremely fast. Oh, when you try to go for command grab right off the bat, and Apollo went for a jump early. Okay, okay. Alright, gonna get the punish on the line. Oh, oh, trust me, if there's one person who hates Vegas slides, it's definitely Apollo, so he will have the punishes on point. Go for the jump. Nice choice. 
Oh, they done again. Standing hard punch. Can he get the stun? Not quite. No freeze either. Trade. Wake up, light kick again from Nassim. I love Not it. Being deterred. I love it. Round it's like, dude, you're taking a fat combo. You actually might lose the game. And he's like, nope. <laughs> I'm going down. I'm going down swinging. No regrets. Uh, the reason why the first few seconds of the game run at super high speed uh, is because as spectators, we are catching up on the game that the players are playing. Um, it normally happens when they skip the intro. Yes. The intro is for everyone to buff and catch up and get things up. So we normally ask the players not to skip the intros for online tournaments. And you don't really get that. Alright, he's going so to act just used to it, playing online all the time now, they just smack through. Again, the command grab. That's on back dash. He gets a big punish. He's in front. Maintains that corner pressure. Something up there. Uh, if in doubt, slide it out. Final round. I have no idea that's fine. Alright. Right. Just poking away with standing medium punch. Remember, that button's been made, uh, made better this season because it's got a slightly better hitbox forward. Yeah, a bit more range. It's always been one of his better normals in the claw. Oh, that was nasty! Awesome. It is spaced and an air to air. I wonder if Apollo tried to do air throw, but anyway, got the back throw. Yeah, that was a really good back throw in the middle of the combo. The reset. You get that positional advantage. There it is. He didn't respect the frame trap. Come on, my friend. you got to respect that. That's legit. Let's see what Apollo can do from here. No tick grab yet. My Barcelona needs out. Yeah, wise choice. Oh! Too much pushback on the crowd's medium. He's trying to avoid all the throws here. Nassim Claw. That buff on the back throw. He's got an overhead to use as well. And he wakes up with the light. Ooh, there you go. There's the grab. Get a bit Good too much. What that means. Oh, no. Oh, that sucks. Overhead in neutral is a footsie poke. That sucks. Right. Vega wins. Dude, he's actually, his overhead can be done from pretty far away. And like, just use there. You can't punish it. I think the range that Apollo is at. I like that he went for stand light kick. Safer option. More frames to work with for a punish. But it might have been better to go for stand medium punch. That's got decent range as well. Got decent range as well. I like the um, the little adaptation in the in the mind games after the the EX Barcelona there as well, where we've seen um, oh, Apollo use the peace skill to get out of it, but that cannot yeah. get grabbed. Did you grab that time? Yeah. Well, I mean, you mentioned it with the last time these two played, so it's good that Nassim scores Roy out now. All right, again, just trying to use inside slash the V skill just to clip a button or something that Nassim's doing in the neutral. It's not working out right now. Oh, goes for the jumping hard kick. Oh, can a hit confirm? I like it. Good stuff. Yeah. Nice that's here. Nassim will not stop pressing that light kick in strings, and he has not been given a reason to do that either. Well, I mean, it's like it, it works here and there, but when he does it, he's about to lose the round. Sometimes it just doesn't work in his favor. So, I mean, look, like Logan said, if you're not going to give your opponent a reason to stop pressing the button, keep doing it. But like all these players here, they can definitely go back to their frame track tactics. So. There's the hail. Yeah, he's just playing it frame tight at the moment. But Nassim's been really mixing things up well on defense. Oh, damn, that jumping like it. Such a brilliant button there for Vega. <laughs> Another slide activate. Nice! Do you know what? Let's wait for this round to pan out. Let me see what happens. Well, Ooh, the stagger. I think uh, Nassim tried to jump out there. Colleen wins. So, it's one apiece right now. If we go back to what Logan was saying before, um, as the Izuna drop will just be out the V skill one if you're trying to counter the flying Barcelona. I do think it's not a bad shout if the grab's not going to kill you or stun you, because Nassim's going to have to keep mixing things up. 
Apollo wants to stay consistent. And even if you land the grab, you can't dash afterwards. Round You'll be one. minus after the dash, so. So you have to do a micro for something. So I think it looks like Apollo's just gonna accept the situation for what it is. Oh, look at pressure. Apollo's always been up to good starts against Vega. Definitely looks comfortable in this matchup with Colin. As <laughs> I say that, and a throw. Not quite the round just yet. Oh, that that all came off. Fast, oh, boy! What a lightning round! This yeah, he did. Done. Yeah. Build a bit far. Lovely. Yeah, I I don't know. He's gone to that where one too many times or way too often there, with crashing hard to the each other. I'm not sure if he's doing that to reduce stun. Uh, you know, just get some more real estate to work with on the screen. I haven't really seen Bloody Kiss Vitriga 1 utilized really well by Nassinko, especially against Apollo. Uh, where is Jimmy? We've got no Jimmy tonight. We've had him on the show before. We might have him back on in the future. Working our way through uh, a roster of players. Right? Yep. I guess the kind of hit from far. And the throw there. Apollo was actually playing a button. Ah, oh, the classic. EX Sky High Claw in the corner. You can't even react. The dash up twice into crouching short. Man, that's rough. I, I swear to God, when he has, when Vega has one bar, and you're in the corner, and he just does some sort of string or sequence into Sky High Claw, I'm like, uh... Ooh, that was really good spacing. But it just wasn't ready with a, a button ready for whip punish. Speaking of whip punish, here yeah, he's opting for that lovely punish on the Buster floor there. From uh, Apollo Steed, catching the lingering hurt box. Another hail, jumps out of the corner. And another EX Sky High Claw. Oh, nice, nice damage there. Oh boy, this ain't looking good for Apollo. Oh, that bro. Blood, man. He grabbed it. Oh, the dash gets checked. Let's see if he can convert. He needs something big here, Apollo. I mean, you're not a Colleen player if you're not going to be looking for that standing fierce, but he gets the beast skill instead. Oh, too far away to get him upwards. Damn, he spent all the meter trying to close the gap between him and Nassim Claw, but it's not working out. Great defense, and he's out. Hang on. Nassim Claw is still in the fight. Apollo can close this out if he gets one hit. He's got that ball. Oh, that was it! Oh! 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 And there you go. That was the thing you pointed out. <laughs> That isn't gonna kill, and it's okay to take it, but it did kill. It did. <laughs> it killed it. Oh man, I think, like, I'm pretty sure Logan can vouch for you when I say this now. Word of advice to anyone that's still leveling up, developing as a player any situation you find in this game, if you can get out of it or try to challenge, go for it. But you always consider stun or kill. That's when your mind has to shift. You have to shift the world. This might kill me. Let me not do it this time. <laughs> well, it's, um, it's risk reward, right? And yes. Yes. The risk changes depending on the situation you are in. It's not always the same. You know, depending on what your opponent, their resources are, depending on what your resources are, and and the health gauge is a resource as well. If you don't have enough, oh, of course, of take course. that throw, then it starts to become a, a very different situation. So yeah, definitely. Yeah, I think so it's. Um... Um, uh, are we going to be making any official CPT announcements? No, that will be coming from um, Capcom directly. We are not Capcom directly. We are just broadcasting on the channel. We are not official support for Capcom. So you'll get uh, a full announcement from that on the Capcom Fighting Twitter page first, where you'll see that announcement. Uh, so make sure you're following Capcom Fighters on Twitter. Yes. And I believe they're going to be doing an announcement very soon. Onos did mention something last night or the night before, so keep it an eye out, people. Here, I'll tell you that. <laughs> I know nothing. Round one. <laughs> Fight. All right. So they definitely sped up the game, and it's going to be Reinhardt with the Urian using uh, the Olympic band costume, but hey, we're online. You can use whatever the hell you want, as long as it's not Blanker's costume. Uh, no Gigante. I think that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, that's... Oh, my God. Ryan used that, didn't he? <laughs> <laughs> the other week when I saw him playing against Problem. Yeah. Alright, lovely conversion is the chariot there for. Oh, that's gonna be No he may... Oh! Do you know what? I think that's cause he crouched. I think that only whiffed because he crouched. 
No one's really expecting that to uh, whiff, so. Mm. Back throw. Oh! He didn't have any meter. Yeah, he didn't have any meter. He probably looked at the wrong... He probably looked at the wrong gauge. That's probably why he went for the uh, bar Flying Barcelona cancel there. Unfortunate stuff. Well, you've got to pay attention to your resources, but with how fast and quickly situations change at the drop of a hat in Street Fighter V, it's very easy to forget crucial things. All right, putting pressure on Ryan in the corner here. I'm pretty sure Ryan could have challenged one of those stance changes. I'm not too sure. I know the frame they got changed for one of them uh, this season. One of the crouching fierces into Star Trek. I can't remember what it was, but... Fight. Right, he's slicing it up. Taking it to the final round here between these two. And a slide to open things up with the first blood. Trying to look for a throw bait there. Wake up, Wake up button. Kick the, the I there. love it. I love it. Is Prodigal Son Reinhardt? Yes, it is. We haven't been wow. up the old win streaks there, have we? No. Damn, that Sky High Claw went really low to the ground. Did he get leave? Oh, he's dead. That's the rabbit. With V Trigger, that move is nonsense. Yeah, I think when your health you is. I'd probably need to find a combo. I'd definitely ask Bolt Strike or Jester Power or even Asinko himself. I think when your health is around the stun gauge and you're in the corner like that, I need to see if this thing kills you because that thing is like the best move in the game. Like when V Trigger one's there and he's in the corner. Um, it's like. It's like Ibuki's Kunai release where. Round Your one. muscle memory doesn't want right. to block the other side. Yeah. Like, it makes no sense to do that. Which, which means it's going to be super effective for a long time. All right. So let's see what uh, Ryan's going to change up here. I mean, Nassim Claw, the X Sky High Claw, has been paying dividends from the corner. Every opponent he's played today. The only person that checked it was probably Broski. Yeah, All right. Going to go for the full combo here. Reset. Oh no, he didn't. He didn't believe. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. <laughs> oh my god, is Ryan gonna throw the round away? He's got he one guess. Again. I like this. Good choice. Oh no. Messed up his own conversion there. Or I think he just wanted out of the situation. Yeah, it kept him alive. I think more than anything, kept him alive. Oh, there you go. Early jump back air to air is a great answer. Round two. I'm not going to lie. Out of all the jump medium punches I've seen today deal with flying Barcelona, that might be the best of the bunch. <laughs> Just because of the way the hitbox was, and obviously Ryan's timing was on point. That might be the best of the bunch. Oh, and another slide. Oh, boy. This is not looking good. Is Ryan going to do another EX Dangerous headbutt? No, he won't. Yeah, he had to do the V reversal there. Stay in the game, reduce that stun. I think if he gets a crush counter or something, we might still see Vitra go one from Ryan. He's gonna play it safe right now. Metallic to fear, just kind of preoccupy. Nassim Claw's mind with something else for the moment. He can. Can he not punish that with the X Chariot? Well, yes. if you're charging. Yes. If you're charging. Straight to the corner. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is big. This is big. Oh. oh. He's out. Check it. Oh, Another my. Another again. No way. Ryan Hart. Come on. <laughs> nice. Ryan Hart with win. another way into the critical. Uh, I think I've lost count how many different ways he's gone into it. He does this for the people. He does this for you guys at home. That was insane. And again, that situation was recreated, right? That happened in the round just before. Flying Barcelona, yep. Ryan said up mirror. And then again, just to certify that confirm into the critical art, he just said, you know round what? One. Thank you so much, Nassim. Let's go right. to the final game. Super impressive stuff for Ryan, always. Oh, man.
I've literally lost out how many different ways he's got into critical art, honestly. <laughs> Alright, let's see if Nassim Claw can going to have something to say about that. I don't want to be put on Catcom Fighters' Twitter channel after that. No way. The chariot tackle. I think one thing I always boil things down to to make a matchup uh, more difficult for Urian is your the ability to make him lose charge so he beats really uncomfortable in neutral. And obviously, the slower your character has to play, the more methodical they are in neutral probably. Uh, the, easier, the harder it is to make him lose charge, but in this match here. Wow. Damn, the walk back EX tackle out of nowhere. That was like right in Nassim's face, actually. Yeah. That's like he's too That walk out of throw range just said, all right, cool. Yeah. I mean, I'm surprised I don't see more Yurians do that, to be honest. To just walk back to avoid a throw and then try and do the cheeky EX chariot. Detect. Oh! Oh, that's rough. Oh, that's going to be big for Nassim. This is big. Oh, I'm here. Oh, my God. No way. All right, there's a throw. And he went for another button there for Nassim. Of course he did. Oh, perfect. Who is it last time? Oh, oh. my God. No, no, no! Oh, <laughs> it strikes again! Brian Hart with some of the best reactions in the world still can't block that. I'm telling you, it's legit for a long time. It's the it most villainous move. So it feels so wrong to put the stick and move it towards this flying yellow person. In the car. It feels <laughs> wrong. Uh, oh, nice! Coral punch into the chariot. And release the charge in time to get that conversion. All right, we're looking at last game, last round between these two players here. Nassim Kors looking to get the upper hand. Ryan didn't block low. So not looking good for him right now. Nice. All right, here we go. Swap sides. What's the mix up going to be? This is the chariot. Yeah, you know what? That was a punish because that was a regular Metallic Sophia. Is he dead? dead. Oh, oh, he's still alive! <laughs> right, tried to dash and catch him off guard. What a but, set. Really nice stuff. Yeah, that was brilliant. Good stuff from both players there. Nassim and Ryan showcasing some amazing plays in that set. Um, again, Ryan showing us another way into critical art. Nassim Claw still being extremely stubborn on defense with that standing like it. Look at who was it last time where they got sandwiched in the mirrors and they just kept pressing the button. Was it Afi? It was, of course it was Afi. It was <laughs> no one else. He did it twice. Because <laughs> uh, literally, Nassim done it there as well in one of those games. And I was like, damn. I love it. Shout out to all you guys that yeah, press buttons. Nassim, Nassim pressed his light kick like Afi pressed his jab anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You guys are the greatest. Speaking of which, uh, are we finally going to have Afi? Yeah, like, he's been in the thing for about 30 minutes now. Why hasn't he played yet? I mean, I've, I've, seen, I've seen the President of the Earth, but he's, uh, he hasn't been on yet. So, And Afi's actually been putting in a little bit more work, you know, because obviously he worked from home. I've seen him grinding it out with some of the guys. Hurricane, Ryan, Problem, you know, polishing up that G. So I really want to know. A lot of work as well. Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Shout out to his original main, you know? I bit, sometimes I do forget because, like, Afi was a Laura main before he fully converted. And I know it took him quite a while to make the full adjustment to G. So. All right, here we and go. He's the president. Yes, it is. President of the Earth will be joining us. Afi. Round one. All right, so. Now, I'm not. Have you seen this matchup much? Between uh, like Jester, Bolt Strike, Affy, or maybe Problem as well. Um, they played each other. Well, yeah, not Nassim, but yeah, yeah. Pretty good but, for G, I think. I'm trying to think. Uh, I know Bolt Strike said he doesn't like the matchup as Vega. I believe he said that. Uh, but I think it's you're probably better off fighting without the claw on because those jab buffers against the uh, Lord Vega could be dangerous. So. Straight to the corner. Over the spin kick. Whoa, oh, the frame God. trap! Oh, Affy. 
with the barrier. Love to see it. I think for me personally, Afi has definitely worked on how to make G barrier more threatening uh, as part of G's toolset. It's a good move anyway, in my personal opinion. Oh, and he jumped! Logan, you didn't see he jumped the sky high floor! <laughs> oh my god. You literally put your head down as he jumped sky high floor. <laughs> oh, Afi. Oh, yep. I think you're buffering a bit too hard, my friend. An executioner at the end. I'm in the range. Command grab pretty decent, but it's not that good. Oh. Afi could have uh, pressed the button there, but he's still in a good situation. Oh, yeah, he's that raw jumping. Where he's going? Gonna do smash under. You know what? I guess he's right. So See, that's what G players will tell you. Like, it's not that good because sometimes it's wrong. <laughs> That's literally all they have. I mean, 50-50 odds. Well, yeah. that too, but 50-50 odds for anyone is good. That's your only weakness. I'd say that's pretty good. Alright, just trying to get those spacing on point to get those jab buffers. And he's stunned. Damn. Okay. Two bars? Is he going to spend it? Nah, I saved one bar just in case. And the tech from Affy. Oh, you got to be careful with that. Yeah, do you know what? Overhead to close it out. I didn't think... Just a little part of me thought Affy would double down and go for the same bet twice. Because he done smash under again and this time yeah. went for a button. But uh, the first time... So if... Uh, if Nassim Claw went for his answer the first time, the flip, he would have avoided that anyway, I believe. But um, he played it safe, Afi. Now, I'm not sure. Because he done the command grab last time, and the Beast Wars 2 avoided it, but I'm not sure if it's because the command grab is too slow. Because you can throw that. It might be because it's too slow. Is it possible? I think you can, you can throw his Beast skill too. I think it's only a uh, striker. Yeah, I think so. You say Vega does well against G? Um, I guess it depends. It's a matchup I, I seldom see. Oh, yeah, but... it is. It's only Strium. Yeah, you can throw uh, B skills. Oh, it's airborne on, on frame six, though. That's why. Ah, so that's why the grab didn't connect. Okay. So you can meet and throw it. Oh, yeah, yeah it's airborne. Not my day. Because his command grab's 12 frames, you weren't getting there. By the time Vega's airborne, your command grab's not finished coming out. So, it's, oh. yeah, okay. Makes sense. Makes sense, though. Lovely conversion into Flying Barcelona attack there. Stays in front. I would have loved cross up for sure. Oh my god. No command grab yet here from Abby. That might have been a legit punish, you know. That might have been a very legit punish. Damn, Nassif is just piling on the pressure right now. Okay. Oh, that neutral jump was nice. He's going to close it out. All right. Unlucky there for Afi. Nassim Claw two steps ahead, anticipating all the moves. Been very familiar with the G. And this is it. We've, we've come down to the point with G where I think a general consensus with the character is, look, this guy just doesn't play matchups. I know he has his tool sets and neutral can be hard for him against certain characters over others. But... Um, yeah, I mean, he block. You block EX Smash, even then, like, you can't say you block EX Smash under and everyone, because if you've got 12 frame view reversal, you can't do anything um, yeah. after activation on block. So, it's up to you to maintain the resources in, on defense, like, don't, yeah. if you know it's not going to kill, don't spend your V-Trigger. If it's not going to kill, don't spend your V-Trigger, because you're only going to give him V-Gage. Um, yeah. And if you ain't got V-Reversal, when he activates, then... Good it's luck. definitely time to guess, Arsenal. Good luck. But I think for me, probably with G now, depending on the character you play, of course, it's like just be prepared to weather the storm because it's going to come. <laughs> it's going to come. Um, but again, it doesn't hurt to try and anticipate two or three moves here and there, especially if they're trying to make the comeback. Really. All right. So... I don't know if the boys have been keeping up with this score. I've actually lost count of Nassim's uh, win streak. 
I hope Nassim has been keeping on board with it. And he's going up against Broski here, so maybe Broski can reset things so we can get back on track. Again, much love to nearly 900 viewers tonight. Lovely. So Everyone's stuck in indoors with a captive audience. <laughs> All right, now, how many wins does it say? Is that a three win streak for Nassim Kaur next to his name, I think? I think so. Well, it doesn't really matter because it's, um, that's the single game wins, right? Oh, no, no, no. All right, good conversion there to Broski, back to the mid screen and gets the grab while the burn damage is still on. So the throw is going to do a little bit more. Oh. Nice little punish here for Nassim Kaur. Empty jump throw. He's still got V-Trigger. Bruce, he's got to be very careful with the fireball, otherwise he might die. Because this happened earlier when these two were playing. Oh, boy. Just as you oh my that, god. Immediately, <laughs> Damn. Uh, if in doubt, slide it out. Round two. I don't know. Do you know what? It's, maybe, maybe it's just us, because we, we can see more and kind of predict these situations faster than they can, because obviously they're in the player seat. We're just commentating, so. Have throw again. Yeah, we're not we're not as inside the moment. Yeah. I always feel the further away you are from the game, the more you see. In fact, the way more you see. Oh. Okay. No context three. All right. <laughs> We're supposed to give him a taste of his own medicine. Okay. He's gonna cancel that anyway. Jumped out. Anticipate Sky High Claw. Oh, yeah. oh. Hang on. Here comes the optimal combo from Primal Fire. Submerge. Woo. 300 damage, baby. Well, it was a bit scaled. Oh, we got a counter hit light kick with nothing off. I think the players in this lobby tonight have literally got to just ignore trying to bait Nassim to do a throw. He is not going to do it. <laughs> he is not going to do it. He's going to do a button or something else. I think it might be better to just go for your usual tick throw or your frame trap in situations that are probably going to lead Nassim to the KO. He's escaped the corner. He's been very elusive tonight, Nassim Claw. Give him that, because you can be very elusive in the neutral with Vega. Making it very slippery and hard to catch. Pin him down. Nice anti air with the Groucho and Fierce, but he couldn't get the Pyrokinesis to connect. Get that follow up. So the situation has drastically changed. But it's probably for the better. The conversion here from Broski. Utilizing Retribution. With the Volcanic Storm and the Grab. Lovely stun. Uh, uh, it is God's will. It didn't I even like need to be God's will. Yeah, I appreciate that. Do you know what? I was about to bring out the Bible and he said, no, put it away, Jamus. We don't need it. We don't need it. I don't want you to bring out anything that's behind you that's got the word Bible in it. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, dear. Logan Sama, please. Oh, dear. No books off those shelves that have the word Bible in the title, Jamus. Please, not on stream. Thank I mean, you. I, can, I can double check. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Oh my god. Alright. Low forward into cryokinesis there. Uh, could he have done? No, he had no meter. Start of a new round. Yeah, punish that. Nice. Nice. People forget it's like when uh, Gil gets a tackle and the Oki for back recovery, he can still go for crouch and medium kick and it's legit. So people try to yep. backdash. Back to the neutral here. Considerable life lead here for Broski. No V trigger yet. But yeah, it looks like he went at the wall at the moment. He was having real problems getting down there. Lovely. Really nice round of, of zoning and ground control there for Broski. Really solid stuff. I mean, for me, he was one of those characters where he, when he got the life lead, you can definitely see him. There's tools he has that they can hold the life lead. Make it hard for the opponent to come in. Especially with that strong fireball game he yeah. has. Oh, I think first he tried to hold up there. All right, he's stunned. 
not looking good. Oh. Run button there, bro. <laughs> oh, he's dead! Is he dead? Oh, no, he's not. I mean, he could have been if he used the bar, but... For sure. Bruh, that EX Sky High Claw is stupid. Wow. It's stupid. I mean... Don't, don't, just don't, don't let it clock up. Don't, don't let it clock I, I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, it should go to the wall where he's closest to, not, well, not closest to, because if he's got you in the corner, he's just going to go behind you. So. Yeah, so behind him, he's coming in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Applying that pressure. And there's a command grab. No OK after this, but what is Snappy Claw going to do? And the Michael will stand medium. Oh, he wants to stand on Cool. Jump back medium. Yeah, what Ryan? Can you pain? All right. There's all the flame javelins just to dissipate. Ooh, nice. I like that. Broski was really the parry anyway. Yeah. All right. Well, he's still got one more bar, so he might opt for sky high core again if he's not careful. Oh no! Slight miscalculation in the spacing. This might lead to your demise. Oh my god. Oh boy, okay. He blocked it out. He blocked it out. Another boss. Oh no, no, that was so close. Oh, he's dead. Oh. You hate to see it. The roll continues. Yeah. People can't stop Vega tonight. What is going on? I told you, man, it's creeping up that tier list. Creeping up the tier list. Yeah. Nothing but buffs every year. And well, I mean... Apart from, uh, from season two, but we don't talk about <laughs> um, Yeah, he's legit. Very he's legit. legit. Right. I think you'll see a Vega win like a Vega. They don't, they don't make any other changes. Yeah. Um, I could definitely be on board with what Logan's saying. I could definitely agree with that. Okay. But with the overhead, the meaty overhead gets the confirm. I mean, his overhead, when it's set up properly, you get a combo or a hard knockdown, courtesy of Retribution. One of the better overheads in the game. Ooh, that could have been with punish there, that Coral Kick, but Asin Claw wasn't ready. Let's see how Broski handles this. Ooh, Ooh slight walk up forward, come on, grab. Fun started. Yeah. <laughs> now it has. Jumping sound, interesting. <laughs> This is absolutely crazy right now, but it's working out. And another command grab from Nassim Claw. No stun jet. Oh my. Ooh. He was hungry. That insatiable appetite for the stun. And he gets it in the end. Damn. This guy why, is my, why is my audio suddenly not good? Apparently. What happened? I've not changed anything. Literally nothing's changed. Not, yeah, nothing, nothing's changed. What happened? Oh, I don't know. Couldn't tell. Sky High Claw again to go for the cryokinesis and the back hard kick anti air and for the side swap. Good situation awareness there from Broski. And another one! Yo! That damage. That is my on block actually. <laughs> Oh man. And he, what? An overhead hitting your toenails. I didn't think Vega I'd say this in the same sentence. The overhead clips deals toenails and closes out the game there. Logan audio is peaking. Logan audio is too low. That's literally like two opposite things. Uh, Logan, That's two opposite Logan. things. If my audio is peaking, it's too loud. So it can't be peaking and too low. It's not possible. Logan, your audio is a bit blurry, apparently. And now it's blurry. Um, it's okay. too loud. Apparently. Okay. All right. So, yeah. Um, very right. good set between those two players. Uh, Nassim and Broski. I mean, he was definitely hungry for those command grabs. He said, you know what? I'm taking a more All offensive right. approach. We've turned it down now. In so how are we now? Loud, yeah, so. You've been fine. My audio you? is fluffy. <laughs> now it's good. 
Guess what? <laughs> the audio settings are exactly what they were when he said the audio is too low. Right. I put them exact. I put. I put. I just put it back exactly the same. So there you go. Well, I think what's everyone, going on, singer? I think everyone's saying your audio is fine now, but um, you know, yeah. you had a, you had blurry, you had fluffy, you had peak, you had. La- Apparently, my mic was scuffed earlier as well. <laughs> I must have dropped it on the floor. <laughs> Splendid. Splendid Round stuff. One. Good indeed. Fight. All right. Oh, yeah. Some floor and a run. Yeah. Uh, how many wins you got now? Four or five? It looks like four. four. All right, we go back to the classic Street Fighter 2 Vega versus Dalsim. And again, like, like we said before, it's good to see these characters. Good punish on the slide. But this is a matchup. I think if there's any matchup I really want to look into that we rarely see, this is definitely not at the top of my list. I know we have actually specialists in the European scene. Of course, see these two, Bolt Strike, Broski, just the Bower, but it's definitely one that you will not see on a common occurrence. Maybe in these online tournaments, you see them a lot more. <laughs> Alright, goes for the throw this time, instead of the meeting, crouching, hard punch, another grab. Try to go for a third one. Mr. Crimson was ready and waiting. Wow! He died! Do you know, I don't think I've ever seen that conversion before. Good stuff there. That is specialist work from Mr. Crimson with Dalsy. The joys of commentating through Discord. Love it. Can't wait to do more. <laughs> I want tournament pack. Just give me tournament pack. Please. That's all we want at this point. And he used the Gale to get out of the mix up there from the command. Oh my god. Eating Gale for breakfast. Lunch dinner. Like, my dude, God, just down back for a little bit. <laughs> I think every Gale hit. Damn. When you get situations like that, things look incredibly rough for certain characters. But I mean, once in a while, you're just going to have to hold down back and eat a Gale. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you one? can block the Gale and backdash. That's an answer. He might have tried to do it on one attempt. But after that, Round I'm not one. sure what he was doing. Fight. All right, so Mr. Crimson looking to knock Nassim Claw off his win streak here in terms of sets anyway. Wow. Awkward interaction there between the crack the punch anti-air and the uh, ducking hard punch, but Nassim Claw going to take the advantage here. Oh, the reset into the command grab. Wow. That was a very delayed tech there from... Uh, Damn, the punish on the drill that hit too high. Puts him in the corner, slides out immediately, though. Nassim Claw with another jump. He's got the hard reads here on uh, Mr. Grimson. You know, certain, certain things he's done tonight, they've literally been like the hardest of reads. They've been on point. Catching people by surprise the command grabs. We jump over certain normals of projectiles. Sky high claws going through certain things. It's like, he's on fire tonight, Nassim Claw. Go gets the conversion in for the light or from the light into EX uh, Yoga Flame. Damn, Gale saved him from taking a hit. And there's the Aurora Spin Edge against the long limbs against moves with giant hurt boxes. I think that moves really good. Uh, the lower Aurora Edge, yeah, it keeps you in place, right? Uh huh. Can't stand, can't He's stand out. Back. Oh, too far to get the conversion into EX Yoga Flame again, and the command grab. What are we going to start here? Ooh! Do you know what? Nice. I can't knock that. I can't knock that decision he made from the overhead, because usually after you get hit by an overhead, you stand up, and he tried to yeah. get the slide activate. So I, I can't knock that. I can't knock that. Poking away with the standing medium punches, and then there's the classic. With a slide. Ooh. And again, the Gale. Oh, no. Love the yeah. use of the projectile invincibility on the EX roll. No shimmy, though. 
Ooh. The down back medium kick goes behind. Yeah, we again. Respect that. Get him on the loafers. I wonder what these Eat Yoga Gales are for. Is he trying to stop a maybe Sky High Claw or something? That's what he's trying to stop. Right, he's got B Trigger ready and ready to activate. He doesn't need it. Oh, wow. Oh, the hard read. Crimson showing that he knows. He's seen them before, mate. He's out of there. Backdash and the punish for the game. Indeed. I mean, uh, yeah, at that point, it was a guess for Mr. Crimson either way. Command grab was going to kill him. Combo was going to kill him. Flip the coin. Make your decision. Unless no more fun one. for Mr. Uh, Nassim Claw, who uh, has to come off. So that's the end of the streak. Uh, but an impressive performance from him so far. So that was a four win streak? I think it was right. five. Was it five? Four or five. Four. 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 Okay. All right. It looks like it's been Dalsum and Vega that have been reigning supreme tonight, Logan. Yeah. Uh, considering all the characters we've got in the lobby. Uh, uh, are being talked up as the top, top tiers in this uh, in this lobby. We've got a Urian and we've got a, a G. They're certainly the uh, the big threats, but it's been... Dalsim and it's been Vega that have been putting in the work. Of course. 930. Thank you very much for joining us. It's some EU Street Fighter 5 battles, of course. Um, we're going to be representing for EVO Online. Uh, that's going to be split up by regions, right? So there's going to be I'd imagine European so. Competition. Then <laughs> they're obviously not going to be making people play oh, around the world. I mean, you don't want to torture the players. Like, not like that, anyway. Nope. All right, so Apollosteed's back on, going up against Crimson. Again, uh, Broski said before this was a brave pick from Mr. Crimson, so... I, want to, I do want to learn a little bit more about this matchup, to be honest. Oh, jumps, but gets anti-aired by the standing light punch. Oh, the meaty crunchy medium kick. Apollo didn't respect it. He probably tried to parry or something. Who knows? Not dead yet. Oh. Classic. Yeah. Could have been anything, to be honest. Could have been a low, a high, teleport behind. Could have been anything. Teleport's behind. And he's just blocking it out here, Apollo, right now. He's trying to plan or uh, strategize his way in. Night kick. Oh. Wow. Okay. The meatiest of Gale. Oh, there we go. A bit of daylight gap in between that screen. Apollo's been so consistent with that activation. Still got V Trigger ready and waiting here, Apollo. How's he going to use it? Is he dead? Yes, he is. Yeah. Luckily, he only had to spend one bar to kill um, Dalsim there, which is good. It's always good. If you can, you'd rather be exhausting all your V meter instead of the critical meter instead to get the kill. But he did one bar, so that was lucky. Alright, there we go. And then jump in, light punch, just in case. So I like that Mr. Crimson switched it up now, because every time he's on the drill, Apollo's nine times out of ten, he's encountering it with the uh, anti counter. Oh. Bro. Yeah. Oh, no. Good decision. Yeah, just not enough screen. Now you're gonna use one of the cross there. Oh, it's not gonna use Oh. Get out of it. Yeah, and then get back in again. So, Call I think that was pretty win. fortunate there for Apollo. Because I think, um... I think Mr. Crimson was expecting to block the jumping hard kick. Yeah. And it didn't come. Yeah, a couple of things worked out really nicely from there. The, the fact that he was about two pixels far, away, far enough away from that fire to not be eating the flame damage, the grey life, and then jumping words as well. Yeah. 
Then light kick to counter the stand medium kick in the neutral. Right. Jeez! Beastwood. Like in the range Apollo standing at right now. Can still make the V-Skill want to threat. Press the button to try and stop one of those limbs connecting if necessary as well. Alright, go to Yoga Fire. And I guess it depends on the spacing for how... Oh, goes under. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, based on his drills, I think. Really good. Yeah. And I've both not been able to react. Yeah, you see it there. He, he, he was looking for a drill. It didn't come. The EX parry was what that was for. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's been he's been using the, the drill really well that round. And Apollo wasn't able to react. He's trying to help him with his hard ring skill. Yeah, I mean, uh, the closer you are, the harder it is to react to certain moves, right? So, yeah, especially if you have to do an input as well, right? It adds significant time. Yeah. Oh, this could be big. Ah, oh. I didn't get the grounded punish. Yeah, I don't know if you should have tried to maybe activate a different way, but hey, it's still gonna work out. Take him to the corner and the throw. Is he go for a tick throw here? No. Throw out there. Blocks, but he can't do anything about this. He's got to endure all of this. Looking for the cannon hit. Oh, oh just away. Man, he was looking for that cannon hit there, Apollo. That was his only saving grace for that set. For that game, I should say. It's one apiece right now. Yes. Our stuff from Crimson. Yeah. But yeah, like Logan said, probably the standout thing in that game there was uh, how Mr. Crimson was spacing his drills. He done it at much closer range, harder for Apollo to register and react with a counter. But he was consistent in the first game. At <laughs> so say it. Uh, he got scouted by the drill again. It's definitely, uh, it's definitely dependent on where Mr. Crimson does his drills. That's it. That would determine whether you take 180 damage or not. And also, it's shown enough health to the top of the Yeah. All right, there we go. Good. I'm just going to activate. Nice view reversal there. I like it. Just get a little bit of great damage so he can try and land a straight hit or something. Oh, I didn't get the chance to get the whip punish on the Parabellum or something. This is looking really good here for Crimson. Throw. Is Apollo going to over and overhead? Maybe not. No view reversal. Oh! He, oh, and he went low this time. No walk back for you. Apollo's been so conditioned to stand up that he done the down back medium kick. Gets the low, puts him at match point here. Oh, and that's him popping off the stream chat. <laughs> Shout out to Nassim Claw. It's the Leon overtake here. They've come to our area and just gone to take all our screen time. I right, didn't stand medium kick, just peppering away with those normals, but Apollo not going down without a fighting chance here. Another throw. Still got V-Trigger ready and waiting to activate him. Nice. Oh, he could have got a conversion, but probably thought he could have got uh, more normals. Oh. Yeah, I think it was uh, too late. Okay, coming back to it. Alright, there's the low. Oh, nice teleport. There we go, medium close it down. The Crimson. Stretches that wind streak out to two. So one thing I like about Oh gone. We have tagged one Leon one Leonese player in for another one on the wind streaks. I mean these guys definitely like their tag teams. Uh, one thing I like that Mr. Crimson's been doing quite a bit is 
he goes for a crouching medium kick, and he knows when he's not uh, frame advantage, he'll teleport away. He's like, yeah. he'll just hit it, and he goes, oh, okay. I'm not at advantage, it's not meaty, let me run away. Yeah, that's where I like to be. Mm. Oh, it's a little I don't know about anyone else, but like, I'm only going to sleep through three times when I wake up. I don't know why that is. Like, I'm not sleeping through. It's just short like, bursts. Or it's just like a nap here, then you get up, and then even when it's time to go to bed, you just do the three or four hour sleep, and it's like, man. If I'm waking up at like 4 a.m. and having breakfast and doing stuff around yeah. the house, then I have to have a sleep again. The mic is bad again, just like that. There you go. I've not even touched. No one's yeah, touched anything. Good. This is just technology, Discord. Now it's better. Oh, great. Thank you. So <laughs> Obviously, I, I changed. I fiddle with all the settings using my, the power of my mind. It is what it is. Online. It's not just it's not just the game that lags. <laughs> Alright, so I believe Reinhardt is stepping back up to the plate. Yep. Reinhardt, the prodigal son, back on board with the Urian pick. Okay. It's probably just Twitch. Uh I don't think Round Twitch one. has anything to do with it, really. Fight. I don't know. I, I, I could boil it down to Discord. Probably couldn't. I don't know. All right. So has Ryan gone with the usual pick? He has. Uh, v trigger two, V skill one. Yep. Again. Keeping consistent with that aggressive approach, making sure that he didn't give Mr. Crimson any room to breathe. He gets the counter hit conversion off the crouching medium punch. Damn! What a round! What a round! Yeah, bro. Oh, oh, chariot tackle in with no armor there. That was an interesting shot. It might be. Maybe. Don't worry. Make it do. The world is not in an ideal Yeah. Oh no, he's got it. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Woo! Committed to the overhead, cancelled into the Tyrant Blaze tackle. Oh, was that the first game there? And that was off a raw overhead. Raw overhead, no activation scaling, no crush counter scaling. I mean, again, it's uh, I think one of the benefits to both of your V triggers is he can commit to the target combo overhead and just cancel into something and Round turn one. it into probably the uh, put him in a position Fight. to win the game. <laughs> All right, that was a that was a brilliant start there for Ryan. Thinking about those aggressive adjustments brought to this set here. But let's see what adjustments Mr. Crimson makes. How is he going to adapt this time around? <laughs> It's the jab check into the can hit confirm. Damn, runs away. I picked up again, tries to slide underneath the jump in. And I have to hold this activation. Oh, no. Didn't have to. Another throw. He tried to oh, wow, he's dead. He's dead. <laughs> oh, man. Set point to Ryan. He's Round coming two. through. He's coming Fight. through. Eerian V Trigger 2 is no joke. Yeah, we me and Logan were talking about it before. Um, it's just that V Trigger 1 has endless possibilities and it's, it's probably much more fun in terms of like different mix-ups and combo variants, but V Trigger 2 is definitely no joke. Nice late teleport. Damn, he is being very malicious with these Tyrant Blaze tackles here. Yeah, he can let him fly, right? He knows he's going to get another trigger later in the round. If it, if it comes to that. Right, there it is. The mysteries of Yoga are out. And he's back into the fire. That was... Oh, I, do you know what? I really don't think that was a good shout. Yoga Burner was still active. I know he wanted to get back in, but he forced his way in to death, really, with the EX Chariot tackle. Oh, 
Alright, there's a standing hard farm. Trying to click the button in the neutral or something. Oh, immaculate spacing there from Mr. Crimson. Making that heavy chariot tackle whiff. There's that punish. And he's trying to reduce the deficit between these two. Again. Oh, on the fire. Oh, I like that choice there. That covers two options. Yeah. Oh, I tried to. What was that? What was that? That was a dash. Okay. Yeah. I mean, like, on the screen, I couldn't tell whether that was a star for the PH chariot tackle. Yeah. Or it was yellow and orange and fire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what I a mean, thing, Mm. For me, I think as soon as uh, Mr. Crimson laid out Yoga Burner in the corner, that looked like checkmate. Ryan's options were extremely limited. You saw the Yoga Anvil come out Round to one. just anticipate a violent knee drop or something. So that looked like checkmate to me. Yeah, especially because Ryan kind Yeah, for sure, for sure. Okay, the reversals. I respect that decision. Can he change? Uh, I think you know, making it so that you can't armor health that you don't have. Yeah. Alright, Ryan's still got V-Trigger 2 ready and active. Alright, he's activated here. What can he do? I mean, at that point, that's just a game of chicken. When he's charging in your face like that, that's just a game of chicken. Unless you're going to teleport out like that. And he committed. He took the risk. Wanted Jump, to steal some friends. Do sound weird to you? Do you sound weird to me? Yeah. Uh, on on the odd occasion, you'll get really quiet. So sometimes I can't tell if you're talking. And then other times you're just fine. But you might sound worse to them than you do me. Because we're in the court. Alright, there's the view reversal again. Reinhardt definitely trying to keep himself in the game here. The reverse of the violent knee drop. Let's see if Ryan can fight his way out. He's got two bars and a dream. But Mr. Crimson's making sure he traps him here. Making things extremely uncomfortable. Let's see what Ryan's got. Oh, he got caught! This is big, it's in the throw. Uh, whatever you said, I can't hear you. There it is, Yoga Fire still on the screen. Oh boy. Dolphin. That's gonna close it out there for Mr. Crimson. Oh damn, I mean, Ryan had a good start. Couldn't keep it up there. Mr. Crimson adjusted, came back to normal. But uh, yeah, nah, look, for, so for me, I'm in a Discord call with Logan, so it might be different for you guys at home than it is for us. But sometimes it will be extremely quiet, or sometimes I can't hear him at all. But for the most part, I've been able to hear Logan. What he did there with that sound check before, that I couldn't hear. So. Discord drop. Yeah, it might be just Discord. So. All right. But again, we've been trying to do this for a little while, trying to find the perfect solution to make sure you guys did it entertained at home. We will have uh, these kind of issues because uh, it is online and everyone's everyone's environment and settings are, are different from one another but we are getting closer to a consistency shout out to the visual platform team we are trying to get closer yeah man we're all working consistency on. so all right but yeah much love for everyone that's joined us tonight we've got 9 30 viewers still let's see if we can peak to a thousand hopefully everyone is still enjoying um the street Fighter five action as well as all these online tournaments i mean we have tournaments every day now <laughs> every day every two days or something like that so hopefully you guys can get some sort of action. And I'm, I'm hoping real soon that Capcom say they're gonna fix the matchmaking or something again. It's like, make it make it useful for us. All right, he has returned. He I tried back. to leave and reconnect and see what happened. Well, there you go. I can hear you just fine now. Who knows? Who Logan, knows? is your Discord connection weak? No. No. <laughs> Round one. I think, his, I think his connection's fine. Fight. All right, so these guys definitely sped up the game. 
Now, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I know little to nothing about this matchup here. So, if we've got any Dalsim players or G players in the chat, educate me. How does this matchup go? Round two. Right, double crash fear. Nice good punish on the drill. I love when you drop a juggle with G, it just becomes a frame kill. Oh, I swear to God, I can't believe they haven't changed any of that stuff, you know? Punishable, yeah. Optimal punish off the light <laughs> for Dalton. Oh my God, Effie's getting mixed up. The guy who initiates the 50-50s is having Dolphin to deal with them. Win. Boy, to a different magnitude this time. Right? G is a decent zoner, but Sim is just better. Yeah, well, I mean, kind of Sim's built around that in, in more ways than one. Not just with his normals, you know. Ag aggro Sim is nice. <laughs> 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 right. Aggro Sim. I guess that what's make people reconsider his tool set and where they place him on tier list is when you can really, you know, be elusive and include decent mix ups and really get people to go, yo, can Dalsim always do this? But Affy is not happy. Gonna go into the spin kick for some Once G actually gets in on Sim, it's horrendous, but G hey, doesn't have great tools if you're allowing him to do this never ending loop of Tap, 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 drill, tap, tap, oh, yeah. tap, throw, tap, drill. Well, I mean, like, probably one of G's or his glaring weakness is the lack of defensive options, but that's like a yeah. universal thing. So. Ooh, he could have got the kill. Whoa. Couldn't he have done? No. Standing hard punch is minus five? Yeah, he couldn't have done super. I'm thinking of something else. That's my fault. Oh, he tried to use G barrier in the air, but I think he tried to maybe stop a yoga anvil, maybe a crouching beating punch or something. Damn, Affy is flinging those buttons out right now, trying to clip something into Smash Over. He needs Smash Over in a dream right now. Oh, no, this is this is looking so bad. Oh my god, <laughs> oh, Affy! Desperation. Oh. oh man, and that was dire. That looked absolutely Dolphin rough. Win. Affy was literally just flinging his fists in a mist of smoke screen or something. He was like, that's literally all Affy was doing. He was like, he just couldn't hit anything. He, like, <laughs> and he just thought the desperation super might do it for him. Didn't work that out. That looked torrid, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> that looked rough. That looked absolutely torrid. <laughs> yeah, it was all smokes and mirrors for Affy. He was just like, where is everyone? Let me hit you! Man, that was rough. Alright, Mr. Crimson remains seated. He's accumulating those wins and onto his win streak. Alright. I think, uh, Richard, correct me if I'm wrong, our highest win streak has been four tonight, hasn't it? We haven't had a five today. Oh, we've had a five today. I swear that was five that he hit. Ah. I swear Nassim actually hit five. So, all right, we'll call it five then. I'll listen to the, I'll listen to the stream. Stop trying to hit me and hit me. That that was pretty much that last round there. Ah, uh, he's gone for it, Logan. He's gone for the mirror. Oh wow! Okay. And he's gonna he's gonna rock the Dalsim mirror. The main event of the evening. Round one. Someone calls come, someone call Arturo to come in. He will give us the the proper insight, third person perspective as to why. This mirror match is probably one of the most chaotic mirror matches in the game. I'm only joking. I don't even know if this is chaotic. As a match, but... but yeah, definitely Broski's uh, signature costume is the Halloween one. Which I, I kind of do like it myself. Alright, activate speed trigger one. I'm going to check that teleport. I know Mr. Crimson tried to teleport out immediately. Didn't want to deal with that at all. He's still got his victory got ready and waiting as well, so. <laughs> eye for an eye, drill for a drill. Oh, man. 
This is crazy. Bro, one drill don't work, the other guy will do his one. The game they're playing right now. <laughs> Too bad it's not one hit kill. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad it's not one hit kill. Got hit by that standing hard kick there, but it's the grab. Oh wow! It puts away. Wasn't sure if that was going to connect, but it did at the end of the day. I think what you're going to see in this matchup here, with the mirror match, is it's going to be who can capitalize off a straight hits the most. You're probably not going to see yeah. fat combos. So yeah, it's just going to be straight hits all over the place. Dive kicks, normals, heavies, mediums. You know, yeah. Yoga yeah, I think movement's somewhere. really important as well. Spacing. The spacing in the neutral is super important in this matchup. Mm. You know, who can who can really get the most advantageous spacing and come out with it? The, there's a there's a there's a mix up as well between the, the drill spacings Round and the one. angles. Yeah. Thanks to the drill. Right. I think it's I mean yeah. it might it might just look like they're just both pressing buttons randomly and simultaneously on the screen, but that would be a very unfair appraisal of what's going on. As much as it might look like that, yeah. that's not what's happening. But that's why we're here, to show them what's beneath the surface. <laughs> it's the low uh, down back medium kick into flame. Back to the tech. The punish. That's Crimson that's hasn't been punish. teleporting after the, um, after the drill on hit that's not plus. Yeah. You no, know, he was doing that before, he was teleporting back. Uh, after after hitting the drill, if he hits too high and he knows he's not plus afterwards, he was teleporting back against a lot of the players. He's not doing that against me. There's the Gale, and another Gale, and another, <laughs> and another Gale. This incessant pressure via Yoga Gales from the both of them. Oh. Try to get throw bait. I love that they're both playing Rush Down Sim as well. Is there any other way you want to play this matchup though? Sitting back Definitely and just not. throwing like normal with the Oh, the flame trap! Oh, he reach, I teach. And Broski takes the crown. That was quick. In the sim down. Dotham win. A quick sim off. <laughs> a sim simmer. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. I respect I had to. it. Oh, man. I had to. <laughs> Who is the simmiest of them all? But literally, yeah, I mean, I'm 100% with Logan. Rush down Sim in the mirror match. I don't see it any other way. I would not sit back throwing out medium punches and medium kicks all day. That's just not going to cut it. Not going to cut it for me. He just teleport behind you. He'd probably just make you block stand fierce into some sort of little mix up there. But well, we got Nassim stepping up. I, Last I, couple, right? Fifteen minutes to go. Well, we we had a we we were on time today. So yeah. Shout outs to everyone being on time. Hopefully you guys at home have been enjoying the action just as much as we have. Like we said, we tried to bring returning faces as well as some new ones branching out more in Europe. Getting these players that we can't normally get on the show because the only time we've seen these guys on Winners Days On is when they were in the country for Gfinity. That's yeah, it. that's true. That was like two years ago. Round one. Oh, right. I feel like it's about 3 a.m. for me at the moment. Absolutely. Okay, I'm glad, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Uh, what's, what's going on, TKR? Cars in the stream chat says Sim is top five. Sim is top five, yeah. That must mean Chan Lee he is top one. But shout out to TKR. Always love that guy. Alright, so let's see if Nassim Claw can knock his friend, brothers in arms. Off. Oh no, sorry, not even. It's Broski on now. It's not Mr. Crimson anymore. I totally get confused. And they're using completely different costumes as well. My apologies. Brosie can get a second wind on the set tonight, but gone with the Dowsim for the remainder of the time he's here. Yeah, making sure that Nassim Claw does not get comfortable at all, and he dashes through the flames, through the fire and flames, my friend. Oh, sneaky command grab. What's he going to do that, here? Why is that dragon <laughs> It's a, it's a guitar hero thing, isn't it? It's a guitar hero thing. The overhead again closes. Round Overhead's two. been paying dividends for him today. 
Are there nine characters weaker than Jump? Uh, I mean, there's quite a number of characters weaker than Jump. In my opinion, anyway. All right, good blocks right now. Uses the V skill too. I wonder how effective that is against Galsim's limbs. I, I, I can't imagine you could just throw it out there. Neutral, right? Because it might whiff in his face. Oh, there you go. It's interesting oh. as well because both these guys like will have a huge amount of experience playing this matchup yes. against other people. Of course, Nassim Claw will play Crimson all the time, and Broski will play uh, Jester and Bolt Strike all the time. Of course. Oh, damn, he squandered that opportunity. Not sure what happened there. Probably couldn't think of the punish in his head, but he's going to get a conversion anyway. And the Sky High Claw again. Damn! Love him. You're not, you're not going to block it. For, the, for as long as we play this game Player online. Wins. And that. They just got <laughs> yes, you trapped in yes. the corner. I like that you added that line as well. Um, online. For the remainder oh, of the time we're online. online. We look, are like it. I said, it's, it's a really similar principle to um, Ibuki's Ibuki's the Kunai Ibuki. release from Ibuki. Where like everything in your body says I need to block. Round one. You crossed me up. Fight. But it goes back in front, and it's just yeah. it's unnatural. And it's the same with the, the sky high claw in the corner. It's just it's an unnatural thing to do to block with your face, almost. You know. It's very interesting how it plays with the mind. Yes. It's probably one of the beauties of uh, fighting games. How certain situations they, they just play with the mind, and you'll never you never deal with it, no matter how many times you see it. Oh, this is the hard kick. That sucked. Damn, that sucked. All right, Gale pressure. Oh boy, that was probably not a good shout. I don't know what's going to happen here. Oh, good. Oh, he blocked it. He blocked it. He's a bit too late. That one, right? Probably, yeah. Well, if you can anticipate it, not a problem. Can't discredit Broski there. He expected it. He's probably willing to take another throw in that situation as well, by the looks of things. Round two. Fight. All right. Brosi looking to make it one apiece right now. Oh, the clean jumping from the jumping hard kick there from Nasty Floor. And then the uh -oh. command grab. Oh, oh, it's going to be a parfait. Oh, dear. Oh, the oh. Like cheeky bugger. Salt injury. Oh, you hungry guy. Looking for that P. Asserting his dominance. Trying to mentally guard break Broski. Broski, don't have it. Do it for the UK. Extreme bias from me. Please. <laughs> All right, he's really trying to slice up these limbs here. Oh, that situation might have worked out really well there for Nassim Claw, actually. What's that hard kick? What's that hard punch? Are we plugging the old um, bracket reset as well? Have we got the... Have we got any any graphics for that? Uh, that's what I want to know. Maybe maybe Richard has it in the back somewhere. Oh, and he's gonna close it out. Richard, I barely heard what you said, but Nassim Claw takes that. He does. Okay. Damn, that last cut, that last game there was uh. Extremely one-sided. Probably mentally guard broke Broski there. Although he did cut, he did block. I think about two EX Sky High claws when they were done uh, from a very uh, unnatural position. I've lost my tissues. Oh dear, that's not good. Yeah, hay fever's kicking in. That's not good. Um, when is bracket reset? Is it Friday? This it's Friday. Tomorrow. Yeah, it's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. It is tomorrow. Um. Well, yeah. Where can they find out more information about that, guys? <laughs> Is it on Twitter anywhere? It is. Okay. When uh, when we're done with the stream, or when we're closing it out, uh, the visual platform team will put on the uh, sign-up page for you guys. Yeah. If you're looking to play some Ultra Street Fighter 4, since there's been a lot of games being uh, resurrected, shall we say, in uh, recent times.
because, you know, people have had a little bit of time to stop and smell the roses and go, you know what, this game's not that bad. <laughs> or we can have some fun on this game again. But hopefully everyone is staying home and staying safe. Oh. And Apollo is being absolutely fantastic. Here's the easy thing to do. Just go on uh, on Twitter and look for 10 O Media EU. Yes. There you go. I'll put a link in the stream chat as well. Round one. 10 O Media EU. And uh, you can find all the information about tomorrow's Street Fighter 4 tournament uh, there and ready to go. All Speaking right. of Street Fighter 4, we've got your old Street Fighter 4 main on the screen here. Hey! Apollo playing some poison. I can't help you felt he done this for me. I'm not sure about this matchup, but good air to air with the target combo. Gonna get the counter hit confirm as well. The crouching medium punch. Yeah, I'm still trying to learn the ropes of this matchup here, but I think the neutral could be fairly annoying for poison. Uh, because Vega has the warp speed to kind of close the gap and make sure that it's uncomfortable for Poison in the mid-range. Because that's one of her weakest areas in her gameplay. It's in the mid-range. And I think Vega is one of the better characters at exploiting the crouching medium punch anti-air. Because if he does empty jump, it's a fat combo from uh, Standing Fierce into his dance cancel. So. And if there's anyone that knows how to deal with uh, Poison's pressure, Pretty well, I think it's Nassim Claw. Okay, I think the connection's just adjusting for these two. But yeah, I think it'd be a little bit annoying. I think Idom says this is like probably favorable for Poison, but I still need to study it a little bit more. But she does have the tools to kind of cancel out his tool set, so. It's a low forward again. Let's see how Apollo's gonna go and activate Vitra's here. He does a crouch fish right in Nassim's face. That could have been punished by Slide, surely. That jump. And then the reason that uh, Nasty Claw is doing those Aurora spin edges is pretty much treating it like Delson. Trying to clip those limbs. Oh, see, look at this damage. A lot of damage. Do you know safe jump or double dash? Double dash. No tech. Oh, oh but he gave him the round anyway. No, he didn't give him the round. No punish. He threw a Molotov on block. I don't agree with that. Still got one more left. And it's going, going, go. Well, if he gets a hit from like a medium or even a fierce, he can win the game. Or you can punish Buster Claw with super. If he does Buster Claw again, oh, he did it! I, I come. Uh, do you know what? It was no, it didn't block. It wasn't blocked. It was right in his face. Overhead, nick the round. He's gonna nick the round. Ah! Can it hit confirm again? Oh man! Apollo clutching it out, coming back after he almost relinquished the game. There's that jumping hard kick. And there's a command grab there from Nassim Claw. All right, gets a light conversion. Going for that safe jump. But limp for the heart rate. And no B reversal from Nassim Claw, but Buster Claw, good shout. Good shout. Punish that, please. Thank you very much. Might get punished there from Oki. Wow. Command grabbed him out of Crouching Fierce. Well, that button has got 15 frames of start. So. And he clipped him with the low and he didn't go for it. Oh, okay. He didn't spend any Molotov. Now you can. Into Abbott line, throw the other one. Throw the other one, dash up throw, dash up throw. Dash up throw, oh! done it. Two dash frame up. interruption on the Lactus. Oh man, Apollo. <laughs> dash up throw would have done it. I think the worst thing a player wants right now, especially Apollo, is if you're playing the same character as me. Because I'm just going to sit here and go Apollo. <laughs> did he even not got a second juggle after that? Uh, no, so the, co he, the combo he did there, after you do EX Abbott line, so what he did was he converted for heart rate, and you can yeah. only cancel into the Molotov. After that, you can only throw another Molotov. It will Round not convert one. into anything else. Oh, okay. So right. he threw it upwards, and when you do that, you dash and throw. You have to dash and throw. Right. So that was unlucky to Apollo there, but nevertheless, good stuff there to Nassim Thor. I gotta say, Apollo's he's putting in some decent work with his character. Can hit confirms on point. Understands the neutral very well. I do think his poison's better than mine. I actually do think his poison's better than mine. Crouching media punch anti here again. And he oh, that might have been online at work. He didn't get. That's gonna hurt. Oh no. That would mentally hurt me. Oh, you, get, you hate to see. It. He got the counter hit. Oh, good damage here. And then for another heart raid. Got the one bar, yeah. 
There's a grab. Is he going to be sneaky and try and go for that overhead? Or is he going to make Nassim focus on something else? <laughs> he sky high clawed into the jumping light kick. This. And Still Apollo getting that round. Fight. Yeah, I think one of the beauties for me about Poison is that spending meter with her is optional. I think that's, that's a really good thing about her. Optional? Yeah, it's optional. Because wherever she spends me, she actually could have saved it. For a lot of situations. Unless you want to land the big combos in Boots the One. But... Oh, and another command grab the fraudulence! He literally done some fraud to get himself to match point. Is Apollo going to make it one apiece? To let me see his poison for one more game? Yeah, that's a good shot with the Buster Claw. After crouching hard punch or blocking the heart rates, Buster Claw's a good shot. It kind of locks poison in place. If he tries to move, she'll get crush count. Another crouching beating punch anti-air. I don't think Nassim Claw has questioned that enough. Another slide. And then there's a stand hard kick too far. Was probably hoping for a crush counter there, Apollo. He had to burn the V-Trigger so he doesn't take a fat punish there. Apollo has got critical arm. And again. And that seems to be careful with when he's got the claw off. Heart raid plus 14 on activation. That's a very open situation to work with. Sky high claw, but too far to punish. You gonna throw the other Molotov? Yeah, it's there. Oh no! Hey, Apollo's putting in the whip! Another V trigger? Oh, oh. oh boy, this could go south really quickly. One more heart rate. There's the break. He's got no more meter, and if he doesn't get one more meter to force a guess, he might be in trouble. He's got V-Trigger. He can just block a couple of normals and he'll have it. Yeah. That's air to air. Yeah, he's been on point with no! Oh! Upon! Oh! Do you know what I would have done? Do you know what would have been the Galaxy Brain decision if he woke up with a uh, light love me tender? Win. The Galaxy Brain would have been light love me tender. You would have avoided the throw. Oh, man. That was so unfortunate. He was about to win that as well. He's about to win that as well. Showing some restraint. Not going for that overhead in particular situations. Nassim Claw, he Should literally clawed it. his way back. The galaxy brain is when you think something's super obvious and then they know that it's super obvious. Yeah. And then they're not expecting you to do it because it's super obvious. <laughs> That's when. Let's do this. I just think for... That's when your brain Look. expands. Like your head... Cosmos just... brain. Is that, is that when you make the CEO decisions? In that, game? That, that and when it's online as well. And then you can just do stuff. And... <laughs> oh, man. Unlucky, Apollo. It was good to see some poison, though. Definitely coming along. Uh, it's just muscle memory and those intricate situations aren't there for you yet. But I know you're putting time into um, Last going back into your games, so. I think now it's going to be. So uh, I would like to get Affy on one more time because he hasn't played before. So I think we'll play, we'll play through until we get back to Affy. Okay. Um... I don't think it's now. That would be embarrassing if it's now. Like, okay. That's <laughs> Ryan, I think, then Affy afterwards. That would have been so hilarious if it was just Affy just on screen right now. Problem X is not on the show tonight. Round on the last two. Fight. Different set of players. <laughs> All right. So it's Vega versus Yuria. Oh, nice. I see you. Gets the jump in hard punch, and that was a counter hit as well. Oh my. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> Do you know what? I would have done that headbutt about frustration as well if I got hit by that slide. Crush counter. The V reversal out, yeah. Probably one of the best answers against that situation in particular, to be honest. Alright, let's see. Ryan's got one more mirror to work with. What's he scheming? Throw. Gonna go for the side swap here. Ooh. Nice and early with the jump medium punch. Yeah, Ryan's been good with those. Really, yeah. really early. Though. I think outside oh, of Ryan, oh. 
Oh, what? Well, we didn't get, get the V-Trigger! Yeah, I think outside of... Uh, it didn't matter in the end, I guess. Yeah. Right. Outside of Ryan, Apollo's had the best air to airs against the uh, Flying Barcelona. <laughs> Another slide there from Nassim Claw. Ooh, that's gonna be stunned. Yeah, that's stunned. Plant him. What's he gonna do here, though? Knockdown mm -hmm. or reset? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait. Plant him again. Did he? Gonna be wake up ages. No. Even better. Even more Galaxy Brain Logan. Oh wow. Oh my God. He could lose. He could actually lose. Still run out of mirror. Ooh. Box, he was ready. He was taking that throw. Oh yeah. Ooh, okay. I know what he tried to do there. Kudos for the effort. Close but no cigar. Wow. Double dash grab. Vega I mean, wins. boy. Cojones. He was like, yeah, Ryan's surely not going to expect this. 32 to 36 frames in total of a dash into a regular throw. Crazy. Surely not going to expect it. No way. I've been doing Sky High Call from full screen all day. He's not going to expect a double dash. Hell no. All right. Round one. Fight. Let's see what Ryan has in response to that double dash or triple dash into the throw even. All right. Those buttons. I, I like the range that uh, Nassim Claw's actually standing at, making sure Urian's prevalent buttons are whiffed. Just not ready with the counter poke, I suppose, but he probably might be too far for anything to get, or too far to get a proper conversion. Okay, but again. He's had good success on those wake up wake up. The one schnicks, the 50-50 side group. Yeah. Ooh. Good God, that combo went on forever. Is that dead as well? Nah, I think he's still alive, yeah. Mm. Vegas super like That's mad. Yeah. I I don't know when a CA is gonna kill anyone because everyone's got more health now. Like the scaling's all over the place. I used to be super accurate with it because I'd know there's a point on the stun bar, yeah. if your health is past that point on the stun bar and you do CA, no matter how scaled it is, it will kill. But now everyone's got well, more health. I'm not like, I'm not sure. Well, you made a fair point before, right? With uh, the single hitting CAs or the two hitting CAs, we can still kind of make a... Oh, the cut scaling, yeah. Yeah, we can still make a deduction with those. Uh, a fairly yeah, accurate one. Yeah, but it just changed now. The point at which things are going to kill is different. Yeah. yeah. Because of the, the health bus for everybody. Can I hit? But it was too far to get the conversion there right off the crouching medium punch. And I see Urian's fishing for that button a lot more now. Instead of the uh, stab medium punch instead, you know? Oh, we're gonna go into EX or Roar or Spin Edge. I actually forgot he could cancel that into V Trigger 1. No, oh, you got trade combos? No. Ah! Jesus. Shattered dreams. Shattered dreams indeed. Vega nice wins. Cool. With another victory. Out of Lyon. In France. Hey, look, man. The Lyon boys have been putting in work tonight. They've been putting in work. Especially with the Vega and the Dalsim. Despite us having, uh, you know, decent familiarity with both those characters, it's the playstyles need to adjust to. <coughs> some of the stuff these guys have been doing has been, been pretty good tonight. Showcasing some really good stuff with the characters. Yeah. Obviously, Nassim Claw has had more uh, brazen and bold plays. Time. Gotta give it that to him. Last match of the night, ladies and gentlemen. President is up. The president is ready to go. Um, Let's do this. I mean, what a way to end it. Without the presidential speech. Let's see if he has a better uh, better performance this time. Didn't do great against uh, Mr. Crimson. Mm. See if he can do better against his compatriot. Um, but yeah, the French, the French have been doing things tonight here on the, in the lobby. So, what well, they like them. since since lockdown for everyone, right? Those guys literally taking things into their own hands. You know, quarantine fires at Luffy, Mr. Mm. Crimson doing streams and sets, Nassim Claw running his own thing as well. These guys have been grinding out just as much as the UK guys have been doing it. You know? Yeah, and that, you know they've got a lot of nice viewership there. A strong yeah. community in France. 
It's just we don't really, you know, there's the content because it is all in French. The, mm. There's not like that that crossover of content, but it's there. It's it's going on. It's happening. Check it yeah, out. Man. I mean, yeah. shout-outs to everyone at home that is literally taking matters into their own hand and they're trying to be as active as possible, oh, trying to keep their sanity, of course, right. running online tournaments, still grinding it out there. Because, again, at the end of the day, we just want to play some games. Have some GGs. Hopefully, you guys do the action, the commentary, everything. That's what we want to do here. We just shifted to online for now. For how long, I don't know. I can't see the future. All right, good start here for Affy. Straight in the corner, and he tried to go for the command grab, but Nassim Claw jumped it. I think Affy's going to have to find a different approach tonight. His command grabs have just not been working today. Hey, again. We're done. The beast get out there. I want to look at that situation. After we're done and I've eaten something, I'm going to look at that situation. That is literally bugging me. Right, he jumped in with a fist. He could have he could have cancelled into Smash Under or something. Dunno. Using that V skill really Not well. Yeah, I think if Afi was a little more prepared for that situation, he might have been able to go into maybe Smash Under from the whiff medium punch. I'm not too sure. Right, back to the neutral here, blocks the sky high claw into the EX Smash Over. I think that was a guaranteed punish. I'm not too sure. And there's a jump fist. This is a very good round. A frightening round from Happy. Let's see if he can keep it up. Oh, What did Happy try and do? Did he get an execution on the button? Oh, you hate to see it. I'm trying to take. He's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Not my day. Damn, Afi was in a position to win the game there. He was in a very win. strong position, but from that back throw, Nassim Claw managed to turn things around. You've got good Afi stuff, checking. good stuff. Looks like the yeah, president... Afi hasn't really been able to um, like leverage his pressure and offense into anything. That v school 2 has been really good defensively. Um, mm -hmm. And as you know, like the threat of... Threat of the command grab isn't really present because he's airborne on the sixth frame, right? right. So you have to just go for... Start going for tick throws and G going for tick throws is not scary yeah. at all. And I mean, even then, talking about the command grab, nice crush counter there off the forward hard punch. Yeah, even the, the one command grab Appy went for, Nassim jumped it, so he's probably been mentally deterred by it. Not going for it. And that, uh, that was a clean jump. He went for Stan Fierce instead. Probably thought he had enough hit stun to work with, but. Yeah, you see a Vega did an air for an utmost confidence. Logan, you missed something really sick there. He tried to do Smash Under Activate, but Nassim Claw was already doing Sky High Claw and it literally went over it. <laughs> but he's still activated anyway. Is he going to do Guy Impact? He won't. Oh, he's playing front. Crouch Fears. Can he win the round? He tried to come on, grab Alfie. I think he tried to come on, grab. Oh, no. He tried something, but Nassim Claw being so obstinate on defense. This guy is just mashing jab when his life's on the line. Oh my god. You gotta love Nassim Claw, man. You gotta love him. I hope his jab button doesn't break after this. Claw, <laughs> an interesting range. Watch this again. Just again, doing the job. Walk into it. Yeah, I think that's a punish. I think that's a punish. Oh my god, he jumped it again. Oh, he jumped it again. Oh. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that move is just horrendous. We got him. The hard Not read. Him. Still alive. I wonder if it's wise to activate. Never there mind. There we go. Happy. Doing the team. Final round. I don't know how hard it is to determine whether or not to go for the G barrier option when he's off the wall, you know? But I mean, like, he, was, he literally was right above Affy, so doing it there was a good shot. It's that medium kick. It's that crouching medium punch. Take advantage of the negative frames there because you knew you could punish. Got a conversion off of that? Yeah. 
regular Sky High Claw. Happy about to get V Trigger 1. How's he gonna activate? Oh, you hate to see it. You can't close. You can't close out when it stays in like that. Oh no. Oh. No. Did you know? Oh no. They're drunk on power. They think that command grabs stronger than it actually is. Oh no. To be honest with you, if he was one pixel closer. You would have heard the the whole Gaia impact. You would have seen the, whole <laughs> the sequence that we know oh so well. <laughs> oh man, that was so unfortunate there for Afi. I don't think any of his command grabs landed. I I don't think any of his command grabs landed that set. You know, that's rough. In a first to two, none of your command grabs connect. I I would be mentally demoralized. I have to say tonight, I have been impressed by the defense of uh, Crimson and. Nassim Claw, their defense has been uh, good, like active defense as well. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. Not just like, oh, they've been down, back in everything. No, they've made really good reads defensively, so I was really impressed. I know it's hard to do uh, online. A lot of it's read based anyway, because it is online. Uh, yeah, it was good stuff. Uh, that's going to bring an end to the show tonight. So we've got a couple of things I want to talk about. Obviously, tomorrow is uh, Ultra Street Fighter 4. Hey! Uh, there we go. Bracket reset. Um, we have a Hollywood Tyrant who has um, agreed to knock um, a couple of zeros off of his appearance fee <laughs> uh, and, and agreed to do this for a, for a mere £3,000 uh, along Pai Sai, who is, of course, one of the most vocal um, champions of Street Fighter 4. So big up Pai Sai. Great to have him on the mic as well. Um, it's going to be streamed on Tenno Media's channel, which is awesome. Um, open only it's only open for entrance within the eu and you can yes. see there uh, there's the sign up link it's smash.gg forward slash bro one which is uh, bracket reset online one so yeah smash.gg forward slash bro one uh, it's happening tomorrow uh, sign ups when do they close oh everyone's gone about 5 p.m all right jam is back um, yeah, check in is at 6:30 p.m. You, this is all UK time, by the way, people. Yep. Um, so yeah, make sure you're there to check in. 6:30 tournament starts at 7 p.m. That is tomorrow, so make sure you sign up now. It's on the PS4 version. Yes. So remember that also. It's on the PS4 version. But yeah, Ultra Street Fighter 4. Um, I appreciate that you didn't put Seth or Eleanor in that artwork uh, or <laughs> El Fuerte you know, to to put people off of playing the tournament. To discourage people from entering uh, there's no Eleanor and no Fuerte on the artwork um, but yeah come out and play and support it'll be good fun um, shout out to uh, visual platform 10 o media Europe guys uh, for putting that on um, and yeah it'll be the first of of many bracket resets I'm sure but that is it tomorrow um, so that's that's your fun what's happening right now though and we're gonna throw to that is um, Oh, we got one more. Oh, we got one more. Oh, of oh, course, double yes. KO. So yes. on Saturday. All oh, right. Street Fighter Five edition on Saturday, and that's streamed by these guys also. Next Saturday. Oh, next Saturday, twenty third of May. There you next go. Next Saturday. So it's every um, two weeks. This weekend yeah. will be what Dragon Ball Fighters and some other Tekken stuff, probably. Um, so yeah, two weeks time, twenty third of May. Uh, that will be double KO prize money for that as well. It's going to be streamed on Tyrant's channel. Uh, we can find out more information on the Smash GG page. You can see that down there, uh, forward slash double KO for all the details. Sign up for all the games. Uh, but yeah, we only care about Street Fighter Five, obviously. Um, <laughs> and then we've got one more, even more. Hey! Oh, cool. And on Friday night, what, do we know what the episode is this week? I I don't they've think they've, Breaker, they've done Capcom Cup 2016. I don't know what they're doing. Uh, okay. Final round, which final round? Who knows? Uh, but turn the beat back as Vicious and Alex Myers look back on uh, some of the most uh, momentous tournaments in Street Fighter V history uh, across the Capcom Pro Tour. So, yeah, tune in for that on Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. That's West Coast time. So that would be 3 a.m. in the morning for all of you people in the UK that uh, have sleeping patterns like me and Jams. <laughs> but, yeah, shout out to Vicious looking um, super sexy and smouldering in that picture uh, and shout out to Alex Myers that looks like he manages a Las Vegas nightclub 
definitely um, putting the putting the looks together uh, that's it from us tonight we are going to throw it over to sherry jennings who's doing an awesome uh, charity tournament over there on the west coast so we're going to host her we're going to raid we're going to do raid so uh, get ready to raid we're going to put in some raiding in um but yeah support that donate donate to a good cause if you can make a donation and support um it's uh, for a cancer charity i can't remember specifically which one it is i'll pull it up sherry where are you sherry Lennox, where is uh the ko cancer uh no, no, no. can't find which one it is but it's happening right now we're going to throw to that anyway uh mm -hmm. thank you for joining us tonight uh, big shout out to everyone uh, of the players that came through, specifically uh, Mr. Crimson, Nassim Claw, Ryan Hart, Hollow Steed, Affy, and Broski coming yep. through. Shout out to Jammers, Richard, Mark, Gabs, the full team. Uh, big up Capcom UK for letting us use the channel, of course. And um, we'll be back next Thursday, pretty much. Don't forget, bracket reset tomorrow, Street Fighter 4. You can throw it back to a game that was even more nonsense than this one that we're playing now. <laughs> Good night, take care, see you later.